do I want? Get it out of here. Fuck you, Hankery. Might be coming in that chat room and beat your ass. Do it. I will do it. Beat your ass. I wish I was sponsored by Capri Sun. Shit, you know how cool that would be? Bet you my name the Caprice. No. Absolutely not. That will never happen. Rev. Ever. <laughs> Carrie was Gamers. you guys said like yo. You guys said in chat like, oh let's push it back, you know? And then Carrie's like, how much you want to bet they're playing Animal Crossing right now? Yes. And she just <laughs> <laughs> you guys were. Yeah. Three people on my friends list, and three people were playing oh. Animal Crossing. And one totally of them like... was fucking that one Scrungus guy from Splatoon. Scrungus! Scrungus! Yeah, I miss him. Oh god, not I Scrungus. I unfriended him, like, just now. Oh, I miss you, Scrungus. Yo, shout out to Scrungus. <laughs> Scrungus! No. The fuck? What's yeah, no. Dead ass. We were supposed know. to go to the store like an hour before we did. And like, <laughs> we were just laying in bed playing Animal Crossing. Yeah. I was it's waiting like for you to join start. call so that I could <laughs> call you out for that because Carrie noticed it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was just waiting to blast you guys. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't we were get just... the game yet until like tomorrow. How? So, what did you, where did no. you order it from? I ordered it on Amazon, I just don't have Prime. Oh. Uh, and then it got pushed back because of, you know. Do you not have, like, enough space on your actual Switch? Hello, I cat. probably it's Like, don't. the game's like six gigs. <laughs> yeah, um... I think... I think Smash and all of its DLC is a lot oh, as God. well, though. I think it's like 12 altogether or something, and then... I could always, like, uninstall some stuff, but I'd just rather have it physical. And I don't want to, you know, go anywhere and pick <laughs> it up, so. That's fair. I sorted it, and, yeah. I probably, if it wasn't, if it didn't get delayed, I, because normally when I order stuff on Amazon, it says, like, oh, you can get it uh, this date with Prime, and I'm like, I'm not getting Prime, and then I get it that day anyway. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're right, Comic. It is more than five, but less than seven. Surely what? open the stream. That'd be a good idea. It's a lot of job. Can you guys hear me okay? Am I lagging or anything? No, you're, no, you're, you're good. Fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. Okay, because I'm in my basement because I've moved home and my sisters took my room because I went to college. Oh, so, man. here's hoping my internet holds up. You got this. Here it goes. Um, my cat's already in my room. As soon as I plug in the mic, she's in here every single time. <laughs> we have internet only sometimes. Yeah, I was recording a um, a demo, a game demo, or like the other day. It was a blast. And I plug in my mic to do it. <gasps> oh my god, it's blast! How do, you, how do you get internet? I don't know how I get internet. You well, just, you see, if you first find... we have to summon internet wizards to cast a complicated level seven ritual. Uh, oh, to create the modem circle. Oh, this is unsweetened. I've made a terrible mistake. Is it icky? God, just imagine getting I, <laughs> I just want a message I, spell I to the IT. I always find it really funny how you guys uh, go into chat and type to chat, even though they can hear you talking. Oh. Uh, it's, it's sometimes easier than pressing my push to talk and talking over everybody. <laughs> how yeah. How is hitting more buttons harder or easier than hitting one well, button? It's more of the talking over people part that's hard. Yeah, oh, I don't, don't want to keep talk over anybody. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm not going to tell anybody. My stream. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, this ain't my stream to do that. <laughs> What do you mean? It's D and D. Your entire job is to talk over other people and fuck over the plan. No. That's your only <laughs> job. 
Especially as the rat. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, the... The. Sorry, uh, I was in the middle of talking, <laughs> and someone decided to DM me instead of just talking. It um, wasn't me. It was exactly you. Don't <laughs> fucking lie. Why would you do that, Hushy? I was just, I was, you know. Uh, I was I literally know. about to talk about that. Um, so, right now there's four of you. Mm. Yup. Soggy will not be joining us, sadly. Um, Soggy dropped out. But you already got another fifth person to try and join in. I don't know where Davis is. Uh, I talked to him. He's not free this week, but next week he should be. Okay. Um, and because we've already essentially hint said he could join, mm -hmm. let's we'll see how five goes, and then maybe a six. And then um, maybe a six, yeah. <laughs> Mostly because, um, Yaki DM'd me and they were like, Hey, so with everything having to be online anyways, I can probably manage a session. And I was like, fuck. Mm, yeah, well, it that's, changed schedules a lot. I was say, yeah, but with that, also, like, if things start, like, clearing out quickly, it's probably just gonna drop out again. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I just didn't want it to go, like, unnoticed because I didn't want to not say anything because that wouldn't... I'm That's going fair. to DM our scene and give him cheat codes. I don't need cheat codes. I write the rules. <laughs> How are you gonna give a DM cheat codes? Yeah, what? look up the. <laughs> he just sends you a list of like GTA three cheats. Up, oh up, down, God. down, left, left, yeah, like, L three, R three. Put those cheats oh, shit. Some in a car for our look D and D. What are you doing? He's rolling twenties, not twenties. Rolling it. twenty. It's he activated God mode. Rolling twenty, Ashley. This is he's. <laughs> He doesn't rolling say 20. rolling D20, it's just rolling 20, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh I can do it too. I put oh, in the cheat code, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Oh god. Comic. 20 D1. Send me, wow. send oh me the god. cheat code to summon a car so we can go to towns fast. <laughs> summon the, the fuck a car, summon a tank. Yeah, well, someone ta send me the tank summoning code. <laughs> give me, you think give me an M1 right. I think I a tank stat block? Just to give you one and take it away. And get, get me. <laughs> no. That'd be funny, actually. Someone's gonna walk up and do the uh, the GTA, like, kick you out of the driver's seat, take your vehicle. Oh just God. some rando that has a tank now in the world, and <laughs> that's terrifying. God. Alright. Uh, well, we're already two hours later than we would usually start. Uh, yes, it is Pathfinder. Uh, it's Pathfinder in quotation marks because I homebrew a lot of stuff and I just kind of go with the roll. Uh, it's that. Pathfinder with Master next to it. Oh no. Levi. Been knocking boxes over you, little shit. I'm sorry. Continue. No, you're fine. Uh, it's just funny because now that I'm home, I have my cat with me here too. And oh, yeah. I, I stacked up all my boxes from my apartment in the living room, and I looked at them, and was like, he's gonna knock them over. Like, 20 minutes later, he jumped on them, and they all fell. Oh my god. Are there Bethesda glitches in this campaign? Sometimes. We'll see. We, we gotta get horses. Oh my god. But, I mean, there was this weird glitch that, uh... I've seen Arsene just stopped. <laughs> Uh, very. That's a fact. Uh, it's uh, there there was this weird moment where we thought someone died and then he glitched and disappeared and swam down the river. So like, uh, uh, yeah, that's it was really strange. I thought I killed that, him. That, yeah, that was, like, we could have killed him. Oh, real quick. I thought I murdered him. I I just had to go and open my. Big fucking mouth in there. <laughs> yeah, you really did. <laughs> no one truly dies, they just glitch. So yeah, whenever we kill a, an enemy NPC, they just like kind of like they'll clip through the ground. 
Yeah, have you ever like, noticed <laughs> that when you kill an enemy, they don't, like, fall over dead. A giant X just appears over them and disappear a little bit later. It's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. Yeah. They're really weird, like, hit noises, too. a little bit, but well, let's keep going. <laughs> I yeah, imagine that. Go ahead. The audio keeps playing things, like, out of place. Like, even when you're not hitting things, like, sometimes you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Crunch. I can imagine, like, the NPCs that we're fighting up against, like, super stiff, like, like Oblivion. <laughs> they just kind of, like, no. walk up to us like Oblivion. No. Stop! <laughs> you violated the law! <laughs> <laughs> I not need to get violent. I don't think I can do that. When you, you said Oblivion, it just reminds me of the clip from Joel, where he's, like, walking by somebody and they start singing. And then you <laughs> punch him and his game crashes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's that one clip? I don't remember who it's from, but um, well, <laughs> the one where there's the murder mystery quest in Oblivion, uh, I think. And he goes, I think it might also be a Joel. And he goes, we must go now. Kill Nils. And he walks over and he <laughs> bull fucking blasts the shit out of him. And he's like, <laughs> I know. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the wind. Must have been my ass cheeks. Oh my god. Have you heard of the high elves? <laughs> have you heard of the high elves? Ha! <laughs> I was trying to sneak around. <laughs> my ass is dummy thick. I hate it. Can, let, let's Keep do the session. <laughs> No. Beautiful. <laughs> They're here. There, there they you. are. They're all here. The gang's all here. Gang's all here. <laughs> Scrimshaw's there twice, apparently. I was say, it's He's baby. <laughs> He's like I like the how... biggest fucking one. I like how this, like, the, the upright Scrimshaw just looks so tired of all your shit. Why <laughs> <laughs> <Like>, Scrimshaw <laughs> have a body? I like how... Hayes doesn't. Hayes has no neck. Head. I, yeah. Just... I love how, you know, the familiar gets a whole fucking two pictures and I just am a floating head. <laughs> <laughs> Scrimshaw's the only person here who has made no bad decisions. Oh I have not made no here. decisions. I mean, I'm gonna it... get a screenshot of this for thumbnail. Hello for Davis. Box. If it makes you feel better, Evan, at least at least your mask also didn't take meth. <laughs> <laughs> I added stink lines, it's perfect. Thank Beautiful. You. There you go. That's that's perfect. <laughs> is this the cover you. art? Yeah, this is now the cover art of the campaign, and you can't. Take it back. <laughs> I'm working on like yeah. actual refs for everyone. I've I got half of them of done. <laughs> oh no! I just took a screenshot of this. Oh I'm god! Save it oh, for the thumbnail for the fourth one. Oh Jesus Christ! What is hap? What is happening? There's they're they're all them. there. <laughs> uh, I've made a mistake. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh no! They're randomly uh, I'm generating. Gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on. I'll fix this. Let's see if she looks oh, up. I. There we go. Yay! It's replaying my attempts at struggling with drawing <laughs> in this program. <laughs> it looks good though. Look at Domino's face and say that again, Hushy. <laughs> Zoom like, in fine. on that face, please. Whose face? Domino. Domino. Zoom in on it. For he me. looks fine. He's. It's the best mask a monk could make. All right. It's... <laughs> oh. Like I got depression halfway through and just quit. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> was like, fuck it, just draw the face on me. Right? Mean, yeah. He's not even eyeballs, eye he's just drawn on. He's actually like, on you. <laughs> I can't actually see anything, yeah. Is it... <laughs> you just... When you go to punch something, you don't even quite know it's there. You're just like, I think I'm just gonna it's start punching. It's a leap of faith. Why do you, why do you think he's swing. punching zombies? He doesn't know what they are. Yeah, yeah he doesn't know they're zombies. <laughs> I, I, I smelled something bad, and I was like, I'm gonna have to hit this. <laughs> Right. Oh no. Um, anyway. Um. So, when we last left off, uh, you were all traveling from the town of Dolesbury to the north to reach the, the city of Zedham. 
uh, a primarily human halfling elvish city uh, up to the north. Oh, I'll bring you guys the actual fucking map. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully. Uh, Zed Ham and Dolesbury are on there. Kind of. Um, <laughs> they're there. Yeah, they're there. The the very small dots in this very large map that I feel like we have to <laughs> fill out properly at some point. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Um, as you were all traveling, however, the domino up in front uh, came to notice that there were people ahead of you. Uh, not travelers. People in the trees wielding longbows. Uh, considering you were with a large number of commoners who were kind of hungry, they were struggling to travel, they were injured, some of them. Uh, none of you were moving very uh, stealthily, even though you had a scout up ahead. And despite the fact that they didn't quite get the drop on you, they did start opening fire, forcing you into combat. Uh, for the first time, the four of you worked fairly well together, uh, debilitating, boosting one another, uh, and bringing out enemies fairly quickly. Towards the end, you had a 12-foot-tall dragon woman uh, <laughs> chasing people down. This one. And beating the absolute shit out of everyone with an enlarged figness, uh, scaring them half to death just to begin with. Uh, by the time job. you had... Yeah, you did. By the time you had one person left, you had him not even fighting anymore, more like begging for his life. Uh, before he risked his life to throw himself into the river and escape you. Um, because of your own ally's darkness, you did swing, and while you could have sworn you hit, and for a moment you were hallucinating like the whole thing, <laughs> uh, he did manage to get into the water and swim away. Yes, you heard Fignus with a PH. It's dragon. It's also, like, written down here. It's literally, yeah, it's it's literally, a, it's literally it's on screen. screen. <laughs> yeah. Right here. These guys can swim. Yes, anyone can swim as long as they're not wearing <laughs> stupid heavy armor. What an advantage! Wow. And then after we knocked them out, we looted the shit out of them. Knocked them out. We killed them. Knocked them out. All of them were dead except one. Listen, I, we don't need to get into technicalities here. We looted them. That's we murdered. Yeah, we all to looted the bodies. To be fair, you yeah, might have. I got a lot of money, that, uh, and you guys. Uh, to be fair, the one Domino took down might have been knocked out, but he was knocked out face down into a river. So... True. <laughs> so he drowned. He might have drowned. No, he he's definitely dead. He's dead. He's, he's right there. there. He's dead. He looked a little thirsty. I just, I wanted I to help him out, you know? <laughs> That's really needed, fucked up. He needed get some, some water. Get some water. Yeah, dude. He was overheating. He looked dehydrated. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so... The remaining four days of your journey, who has rations? I do. I do. I have some. Pretty sure I do. Enough for all four days? Let um, me check before I say that. I have that. five trail rations. I have four trail rations. <laughs> I, have I have four trail rations. I have six. Enough. Wow, look at you. Hoarding. Like this was also the only one who went out and hunted for extra, so. We yeah. over here hoarding rations like. Like toilet paper? Nah. -uh. No, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I fed everybody. I fed the chillin'. Got shot with arrows. That's not my fault. <laughs> Their fault for being kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You One of the children did, in fact, get shot. That was a thing. Um. So, as you guys are traveling, you do still need to provide- or you don't need to provide food for them, it's only four days, they'll survive. Um... <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just do a quick roll for the... As you found out, there was one hunter among the group. Oh, good. Uh, who does provide for at least half of them on his okay. own. 
That's good. Sort of. Ooh, they're they're not exactly eating full hearty meals, but they're eating ish. <laughs> but are you dead? Exactly. No. <laughs> they could. Well, they wouldn't survive either way. Um. <laughs> oh, would they have? Bet. I mean, if you turn off, we can off, change that. Could no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is that oh, what you're no. implying, Domino? Would you like to kill the commoners? It wasn't me that no. said that. That was that was poop rat. <laughs> no, it was it was totally I mean, it was shitty little that. fucking gremlin hands. Poopy I can't rat believe hands. You're trying to pin this on me. Oh my god! It was secretly scrimshaw <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> scrimshaw is actually a lich. Like, oh my god! <laughs> No! <laughs> oh no. It's actually a phylactery. I don't. That's awful, actually. I hate that. So, uh. <laughs> You're the Lich comic. Duh. You've been the Lich this entire time. You didn't realize that? You had no idea? That's not an owl. That's a raccoon. Scrimshaw Ooh, isn't ain't no owl here. <laughs> I didn't realize my drawings were that bad. <laughs> so, with four days of travel going by fairly easily, uh, you guys have technically downtime while you travel if any of you have things that can be done on the road. Oh. Um, I don't. I, I have can't... no hobbies. I can't milk my tail while I walk. I have to sit down. Uh, you can do that each night, though. Okay, I'll milk wait. Milk your tail every I can't night. Stop! Okay, can I do that four times then? <laughs> what yeah. the f it's four nights. Make sure to milk your tail properly before bed. <laughs> Please. I, Please. I just don't like that. <laughs> 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 so I can do it four times. Yes, so 4d4. Okay. 4d... Six more doses. Six we more doses, yay! We did spend 40 minutes last session talking about how to milk tails. And it's we... exactly how you... No, we're how... not proud of it. No, we're not. Um, but so it, that was even more it's... scary as that was... <laughs> Think of it like milking for like scorpion venom or snake venom. Yeah, it's it's not what you think. If it's okay. what you think, you will get banned. So, remove that from your thoughts immediately. I also just want to point out that the last three sessions, we spent like 50 <laughs> minutes before we actually played, just setting up to play. We That's didn't true. do that this time. No. We didn't. Yeah. So we have burns. Let's talk about how you milk a tail. So no! <laughs> I don't want to discuss that. Why, <laughs> why are y'all... Sergey, you know, where, oh, no. where are you going? What are you doing with Purple Haze? Why are you doing some oh, weird no. tribal dance around him? I'm being flanked. <laughs> my free time, my downtime. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm coming to I'm get out of here. I'm, I'm out of here. No, oh, no. they planted a bomb in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> JC, a bomb. Anyway. Uh, so no one, no one's doing anything other than Fignus with their tail? <laughs> Got nothing yeah, so. to do. Alright. Maybe y'all should hunt or something. I ain't got no hunting shit. Dragon's ah. Burl, that's for me. Can you hunt and walk? No. <laughs> Probably not. I can barely walk. I'm sharpening my yeah. fists. That's, just, that's <laughs> what I'm <laughs> doing. <laughs> sharpening your fists. You guys are watching him with a knife just shave off layers of skin. Just <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I don't like this that. This is what I do when I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, <geez>. um, <laughs> so do we consume our rations? Yes. Four okay. rations. Oh no, rations. I have no more rations. I have two left. Who's well, hungry? you could choose not to eat on certain days. I don't think I'd do that. I am fasting. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me hungry. I'm a big girl. I gotta eat. Yeah, I don't know if my if my rat could. <laughs> He's like, I'm hungry. 
Sort of <laughs> fists are right under the bone. Fuck. Bone fist. I don't like that. Yeah. Stop. Oh. Uh. So, you guys, uh, after these four long days of travel, leading these poor, yeah, these poor people who have lost their home, off to the city of Zenfim. You eventually begin to see, off in the distance, some buildings. They're very spotty. Uh, there is only a few here and there. Uh, that's what these are. Those aren't rocks, those are buildings. Um, and as you continue following the road up, the creek that has been kind of parallel with you guys the entire time passes through what appears to be walls. Uh, a large walled city stands before you. It was very clearly the city of Zedhem. Uh, people are traveling in and out, the place is bustling, seemingly unawares that to the south, a necromancer has completely demolished uh, the neighboring village of Dolesbury. Fucking necromancer. Rip. Okay. Now, I don't want to raise up a citywide panic or anything. <laughs> but... <laughs> but we should charge in there yelling the zombies are coming, the zombies are coming. Or, <laughs> we should not do that. No, 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 no. Well what we'll do is we'll 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 avoid this place right here. Alright, no more markets. <laughs> no markets. Okay. And the we have just a, <laughs> every I time we go to a market. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well uh no the zombie will no still market. leave the tent. We need to we need to <laughs> talk to the mayor. Because we do have all these refugees that need a place to live. Yeah, yeah we need we, to talk we, to some guy. We're going to need to talk to somebody in power and let them know what's going on. I need an adult. <laughs> and then drop okay, these, these motherfuckers refugees. off at like an inn or something. Well, if any of you want to <laughs> roll Knowledge Local, you can see what you know about the leader of this place. I don't have Knowledge well. Local. Do any of us have Knowledge Local I, trained? I don't. I no. don't think I do. But I can probably... <laughs> I still try. <laughs> I did not roll well. Knowledge local. Yeah, this is the town. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live not here. This what the Zeno. fuck, Sir K? I don't get to do the modifier if I don't have ranks put in, right? You still use intelligence modifier. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just like. Int is minus one. <laughs> oh, Mine's big, plus three. Big stupid. Five seconds. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Look at this. Dude, it's better than mine. I got a four. Yeah, but you have a minus one. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can see what I get. Let me see. Just what? Not horrible. Yeah, I was but, expecting you to roll like a one. I think Sergey yeah, knows more than we expecting. do. So, Sergey, in your travels, uh. You were, you know, in the back of someone's cart when you were getting into Dolesbury. Uh, you clearly actually got into that cart up here at Sedham. Um... <laughs> How convenient. Wow. <laughs> or at least it was someone from Zedhem. You might not have been at the city itself. Um, even so, you, you know a little bit about this place, uh, considering it's not trained. Uh, yeah. Technically, you can only get a max of 10 with a non-trained skill, I think is how that works. Oh, really? Huh. I didn't know. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, so, you know very little about Zedhem. You do know that there is a, uh, a lord for the city. Though, he is only one of two factions. You don't really know much else beyond that. Factions. Oh shit. Okay, well, I communicate that to the group. Um, this is We're going to be tricky. This about may to get be involved bad. in a civil war. <laughs> Maybe we take these people here and they killed instantly. Yeah, they're just like foreigners dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh shit. Well, we tried. <laughs> we're just like hey we have these like refugees from the town and they're zombies and they're like zombies they're infected kill them all and they're like oh wait no God. wait can can we turn around and ask um who's following like our, our little band of merry boys like if they know anything <laughs> about this town 
you can. Okay. Uh, I'm so going to... you go over to the people who at this point are pretty tired, but they're warmed up to you a bit. I suppose they're not like uh, they're open to you in terms of like they trust you enough not to be afraid of you at this point. Oh, good. Uh, they're still not friendly per se. Um, even so, you go up and you ask them, uh, do you ask them anything in particular? Um, Sarkay mentioned one of two factions, right? Could I ask if they are similar in faction? Or, like, they're, they're gonna be friendly if we show up, right? Uh, they look at you a bit and they'll go, they'll probably be thrown off. You're, you guys aren't really the, uh, most normal group they probably have. Hmm. But, uh, we, we can, uh, vouch that you're telling the truth, at least. Okay. Just thinking, like, what, you've never seen a rat before? <laughs> diseased rat from a um, necromancer town? Maybe we should have the, um, the hunter and the apothecary and lead the party into town, then. I would recommend And act like they're in charge. <laughs> And we're just bodyguard. I heard that. <laughs> the apothecary did at hire us. We, we're just hired goons at this point. Basically. Is that something we can do? Can we communicate that to the apothecary? Um, she looks at you a bit and she's like, uh, I guess to get us inside, I don't really mind. Shouldn't we tell them what happened, though? Uh, uh... <laughs> um, uh. we should probably request some sort of meeting with the leader of the town. Yeah. I feel like this information should go directly to them. Yeah, not across the fucking Chinese yeah. telephone. Yeah, no, we shouldn't uh, <laughs> cause a What's wrong with Chinese thing? telephones, hi? <laughs> Look, that's oh, just no. the fucking Ooh, name there. of the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Manka. Manka. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't ban me. Not yet. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. We're going to have the apothecary and, and the hunter the front of the group and get us in. And then we're going to request an audience with the lord of this town so we don't cause a public stink over the fact that uh, the next town over really scary. We don't have to cause yeah. a public stink when Purple Haze can <laughs> cause a private stink. Stop. God <laughs> fucking damn it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, is this we lord's name Farquad? About... No. <laughs> no. Please. Please. If the no. lord doesn't plan to inform the citizens, then we should incite a panic. Yeah, oh my, I, I, inside a riot? Zombies! Uh, well, ah! I think it's more of if the Lord doesn't decide to do anything about it, if they're just like, oh, no fucking big deal, they're not here, then it's like, okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> then I will tell everyone. Yeah, then everybody <laughs> will know. The so you have chosen. Coming, the zombies are coming. Now all of China knows you're here. <laughs> oh no. So you have chosen we, we tell, panic. We tell everybody that zombies are coming. They go out and panic by toilet paper. <laughs> oh my god! I hate this. They panic anyway. by rations. <laughs> oh, <Anyway. God. clears throat> so sorry, that's very funny. Plan, uh, the apothecarian and the hunter begin to take the lead. Uh, the apothecarian more than the hunter because he cares more about his family than anything at this point. Um. And as you guys uh, approach the gates, you are very clearly getting some, uh, looks from the guards. Uh oh Um, mostly because, again, you have a <laughs> Wyvarin, a rat folk, a goblin, and a tiefling, uh, with a group of very not healthy-looking people. It's not our fault. I gotta, I gotta say something real quick. That comic just put in chat, poop, poop. Paper. That's, <laughs> crazy, but that's really funny. <laughs> that's just a petition to call toilet paper. Right now. Damn, we ran out of that Charmin poo poo pee pee paper. Uh, we ran around. <laughs> 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 
I hope. I hey, hope. Can you, uh, can you go downstairs and get out the stash of poo poo pee pee paper? <laughs> Um, excuse me. I you, can't believe I have to ban my own players. You do you work here? Uh, yeah. Do you guys? What's I am the next not a shipment part of, of poo poo pee pee paper. Because y'all have been out for quite some time. <laughs> New challenge: Go to your local grocery store. Now. <laughs> I'm going to commit a murder. <laughs> I'll retweet it. Oh, oh no. Uh, so. Moving on. Um. Yeah. Oh no, no not, not fire! Oh no! Oh, uh, so you all take Shit. 33 points of damage. Oh, I'm dead. Hold on, I'm let very me see dead. if I can live that. Actually, you can't. actually, is that you splash? Can't. Is that huh. splash damage? I can't live that. No, it's fire damage. But is that, but is that a, spl is that a splash attack? Can I? It's an three. It's not you can't five. redirect it. Stop. Can I evade it? <laughs> <laughs> God. No, you cannot. You Please. die. We're all dead. <laughs> the session's die. over. Everybody go home. Fuck! I guess I can so play I Animal Crossing now. I just checked to see if I could live 33 points of damage, and as it turns out, I cannot. Really? <laughs> 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 who would have guessed that the, the lad with, I think, what, like 14 hit points? Can't He's got like 5. <laughs> 16 hit points. Oh, okay. Oh, my 24 right. couldn't even outlive that shit. Uh, yeah, my 17 got me fucked up. Oof. <laughs> anyway. I am very healthy, but I could not. Uh, despite what the uh, the guards originally think, uh, after some talking with the apothecary, and I'm actually going to have her roll a quick diplomacy check. Oh, no. Oof. Don't worry about it. Is she going to fail it? Oh, whoops. Oh no. That's neat. No, I just I just found out I can do like that. And it tells me if that if I succeed or not automatically. I don't That's see neat. any. One success. Oh. Yeah, because I said greater than four, and it rolled greater than four. Oh so. that's nice. nice. So it tells me success. Um that's, that wasn't the actual role, that was just me showing you. Um, oh. So after some discussion, the Apothecarian goes, um, No, no, they're not dangerous. They're actually, uh, they helped us get here. Uh, something horrible happened at Dullesbury. Is, is the Lord, can we talk to him? It's probably better we don't say it to everyone. And the guards, consider this for a moment before agreeing. Though, they're still off-put. You guys <laughs> are going to have to get used to this, it seems. Uh, yeah, yes. fair enough. <clears throat> so, they begin leading you inside. Or, two of the guards do, and others take their place at the uh, gate itself. As you travel up to... Not the market, don't worry. Oh, thank god. We're all terrified of the market now. I don't want to go to the market again. <laughs> no, you're mama, gonna, don't gonna make like... me go to the market. I don't want to go. Gonna, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go. We're going to be like 10 sessions from now, right? And we're just going to be doing something. And then all of a sudden, you're going to pull that map up and be like, you're back at the market. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. A gate opens up to your feet and you teleport. <laughs> you drop into a very familiar marketplace. No, please. God. 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 I'm not. Well, I'm gonna have to play this time though. There's pyramid head. But this time, like all the exits are blocked, we have to beat the zombies. <laughs> when you when you return to the starting area and there's a new boss there. Yeah, oh, exactly. It's like that. What the fuck? <laughs> this is just like the line, Lionel. On the Great like, Plateau. Like in Lionel on the Great Plateau, no. yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, oh, no. So, I feel like I, I say anyway a lot in these games. Because we get sidetracked yeah. so easily. Sorry. Not, we we gotta not, work not, on it, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. 
So you're not led that far. You're actually he- uh, led over towards the South Nobles Village, as to be expected by the name, uh, where you are brought through a few uh, roads up another street to a sort of central building, like right above the actual name. Yeah, you can move your tokens if you want. Oh. Uh. Well, uh... Oh no! You're going too far. As Domino just turns and starts booking it directly towards the marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> god! <laughs> What's it? Someone brought the Black Plague here. This bubonic rat out of here. Listen, <laughs> I don't spread the plague. I just put it on myself and hurt people. I just make it. I make that the is the plague. same thing. You need to practice social distancing. Purple haze. That's just fucking <laughs> Oh no. I'm gonna lose it. I'm seriously at my fucking limit. I love how he's just like, oh, oh no. The rat's coming in town, stock up on some toilet paper. It's your poopoo pee pee paper. Stop. Stock up on it. Kill all of you. Please. We got sidetracked. Rats about. Oh, little dragon Lou. <laughs> I look so new lame, Lily. So. As you uh, walk through, you eventually come to a rather nice building, uh, as to be expected. It is a noble's home. Uh, Although, it is not the only one. Uh, Around this area, there's actually quite a few nice uh, buildings. For example, up the street, you guys see uh, another two-story building, which appears to be completely overgrown in vines and flowers. Uh, farther up the road, there's, like, another stone building that's very, uh, dwarvish in nature. Um, but this one, it's very human. It's like a, it's a basic log cabin with, uh, thatched roofs and walls. Uh, you imagine the walls are thicker than what they look like, but on the outside, there's been this aesthetic work put over to make it look almost like a regular everyday cabin sort of deal. Uh, and knocking on the door for a bit, uh, eventually a deep, gruff voice answers, like, Who is it? And the guard immediately replies, <coughs> as I look for this man's name, uh, Lord Tharleon, we have a group here <laughs> who needs to talk to you about important matters. Um, his name is Tharleon. <laughs> Tharleon. 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 I'm gonna take that as a note real quick so nobody. I'm gonna take the what? Who? There's a note I'm taking. They're writing on the notes. Oh Oh my god, we're actually using that. That's a good idea. I put the very first note about us traveling north to ZM. Thank you. It's actually very thorough. Welcome. Did you say it's thorough? Now I have to open this and see what it says. Uh oh. Thoroughly, it is the cool lord. Thank you. This is thorough. Puts this dude cool. <laughs> this guy. The party's cool. traveling north. Ran into bandits hailing from Rorikstead. Ah, you actually. I opened it I up. Forgot I forgot I said they're from Rorikstead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't but actually remember. Woke up. <laughs> Did they actually? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> So... We have no idea if this guy is cool or not yet, Hashi. <laughs> I'll I'll amend it if he's not cool. Okay, you better. <laughs> okay, I'll remember. So opening the door uh, isn't a servant or anything like that. Instead, it's a tall human man. He's about uh, like five ten, five eleven, and he is wearing. Other than fairly nice clothing, you can already see under his clothes, he's actually wearing fairly well-made armor as well. Oh. Uh, at his hip is a longsword. Bitch's weapon. Oh my god! <laughs> you use your fist, shut what, the fuck he up! He doesn't use his fists? <laughs> yeah. What's if you don't use your fists, you're automatically yeah. weak. If you don't use your fists, you just... <laughs> You're a pussy. That's You're it. you fucking suck, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> sure, squad, be out here. You know we out here. Me and this. I'm taller bitch. than this man. I hope he doesn't hate. Pretty sure you're taller than most fucking everyone here. Shut the fuck up. Uh, You're like what he seven? He seems to be fairly old. He has 
not gray hair. It's still black, although it is starting to gray. So it's getting a bit of salt and pepper. Oh, uh, is it bad? And he stands there and he goes, All right. Uh, is this them? As he looks at you, the four of you. And the guards <laughs> nod. And they're like, oh. Yes. He's like, <laughs> I knew it. I know it was correct. All right, then. Come on in. He's just like, I knew this day oh. would come. As he turns around and he just holds the door open for you all to enter. Oh. Crap. Do I have to roll to not hit my head on the door frame? What the no, fuck? You do. <laughs> I'm asking an actual question. No, you don't have to do that. Okay, thank you. Does your character not know how to duck? <laughs> <laughs> would your character not... <laughs> <laughs> you have to do my acrobatic stack. I can't you crouch. You would like to perform a maneuver to do like if you want to fly through the door without. No, I, I, oh I do not want like a spin, like a barrel roll through the door, just to <laughs> show off. Dolphin dives through the damn doorway, like trying to flex on him. Do a handstand to avoid hitting your head on the top. <laughs> Roll to duck and you knock into instead. the table inside, sending a candelabra to the floor, and the entire house gets lit on fire. <laughs> That's now the you've critical the civil one. War. He spent all he spent all his money to make his nice fancy house look like a normal house, and you just burned it down like that. Oops. <laughs> well, I hope he has insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Medieval insurance. In any case, sorry. Uh, stepping inside. It's a fairly, uh, nice home. Or at least you think it's a home. It's kind of hard to tell. It's almost furnished like one. But it also doesn't make sense why he would be inviting you into his house. Hmm? Uh, for a simple meeting. Especially with so many, uh, commoners coming up behind you. Um. As you and at least the at least a few of the uh, villagers you rescued enter with you, and the others remain outside. Uh, the apothecary and the hunter come with you. Uh, yeah, it's about it, honestly. Just those two. Um, they they come in with you, and immediately you're shown to... It almost looks like a living room. Like, there's chairs lining one side, a table in the middle, and then a singular chair opposing them, where uh, Lord Tharleon sits. Uh, please, take a seat. So, what is it you need to discuss with me today? <clears throat> um... Should we let the, um... Apothecarian explain? I mean, I could if she doesn't want to. I think we probably what? should. Yeah. Go for it. You can make it sound all medical and sciencey, and they're all I'm executed just, for trees. I'm just imagining yeah. one of you goes like, "All right, I'll do it." <clears throat> Zombies! Like, you know the fucking like aliens meme from forever ago. You just that, but it's zombies, and that's oh just one of them. Oh my god! No. So are you are you trying to get the apothecary to tell him? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. None of us so have done like, shit this whole time so far. She, she's sitting <laughs> there quietly as like one of you just like nudges her and she's like, "Oh, oh me? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Well, uh, we're from Dolesbury to the south." And he's like, uh, "Yes, of course, I know of it. Uh, but why are you here?" Um, well, Dolesbury has fallen. Fallen, you say? Uh, yes. You see, the, we're, um, undead. Lots of them. And he looks very confused at first. I see. And then who are the rest of you? Uh, we were adventurers just kind of passing through and ended up kind of caught in the middle of it. We heard about a job that was um, being given out at the marketplace in the evening from the, um, the resident lord, but 
when we all decided to meet up there, that's when I guess the attack happened. We got ambushed by like 20 zombies and barely made it out alive. <laughs> it was kind of a bad night, not gonna lie. It was not great. Not, not the best night. Q, you were talking about it like as I could imagine you like on some show. <laughs> what? Like, and that's when uh, the incident happened. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like Doctor Phil in it. And they, yeah, yeah, it's like Doctor Phil that you're doing all talking right. about it. Oh my god. Oh my Sergey god. is gonna mention. Um, uh, we also saw, um, the Lord and. Or at least who we assume was the Lord. And the... Or at least a necromancer. I don't know if it was the only one. At the top of the keep. And we weren't able to take him out. What, there what was mainly nothing happened could... is... We heard a scream in the keep. And we heroically rushed in to go and save that person. As fast as we possibly could. <laughs> Roll bluff. Roll bluff right now. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, Damn it! It's a roll for life of omission. Why'd you do this to us? I, I forgot. <laughs> Mission fails. We'll Take get it next back. time. Take it back. <laughs> he didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Fine. You're oh, taking it back. You're not saying it. Yeah. He did <laughs> not say that. I will not always allow you to take it back after we after you guys uh, play for a bit longer. But for now, okay. let it slide. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. For future, for let me check to see like what my chance would have been to be. Well, my chance is this is TSM a... Pro Pathfinder team. No, TSM no. sucks. <laughs> So my bluff was only one, right? Like plus one, so I would. Uh -oh. Out of pure curiosity, just roll it. I want to see. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh no. I'm just curious. Neat. Anyway, so as you uh, tell him what happened, he's like, "Oh, well." Uh, Impressive you made it out then, and with some survivors, no less. Uh, I actually... Hmm. I do know what job he was looking for. You do? Would you four Wait. be interested in helping us out here? Well, it depends on what the job is. I'm Does listening. it involve more zombies? I, I can't do more zombies. Well, as far as I know, there aren't any here yet. Yet? Yet? Mm. So you know about this? We just told him. <laughs> no, no, but like, he seems to know what this is about. I wouldn't jump to conclusions just yet. Let's hear him out. Okay. Yeah. No, the, the dragon is correct, unfortunately. You see, as of recent, there have been some unruly other groups pro cropping up. Well, like, uh, like an insurgents? Of a sort. Uh, some people obsessed with immortality and things of this sort have been oh. popping up looking for certain things. They've been making life difficult for our guards. Uh, if you'd be looking, willing to look into the matter... I'm sure the necromancers are tied to this. Uh, I'll have guards prepare defenses. I'm sure we don't want undead marching on the city. Hmm. I mean, we're here, we might as well just look into it. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. Go find me we'll, for looking into the matter. We'll pay handsomely for any useful information you can bring us. Even more if you can handle it. Uh, on your own. Well, I mean, we already did it once. Uh, barely. I mean, we kind of did. Wanna... It. We, we kind of survived, like what, two zombie attacks? We got this. Is there a place kinda. that we can get well equipped for the task, or better equipped, I should say? <laughs> if he says the market, <laughs> I'm not going to the fucking market. 
Better equipment of uh, what kind? Better to handle the situation, I guess. Um, there are uh, some priests here in the city. Uh, ah. There's um, a shrine to uh, Gonasier, the the Lord of Luck. Hmm. Uh, that's over in the uh, the Dragon's Burrow, the north. How do you spell that? I don't say this in character. <laughs> Gonna Thank nice. you. Gonna is uh, the Lord of Luck. Uh, other than that, you would need a religious check. I don't. Did you make your own pantheon? No. Uh, I, I'm not <laughs> familiar with the name, and I got excited. <laughs> Aww. Well, yes and no. Um, I have a pantheon I use. Um, part the city is semi randomly generated. And there will also just be pantheons <laughs> each race follows, per se. Scotland's would be fucking dope. <laughs> you should probably uh, ask. You are Scotland. curious. The, the oh, major no. <laughs> religion, uh, the major religion of this world, doesn't really have names for their for the uh, the gods. They believe there are gods for every major concept, and those are just the most primordial of beings they aren't even like they're not individuals so to speak as far as they know it's like there's a god of magic god of luck god of earth god of sky god of water you probably do or is god goblin a major, <laughs> major <laughs> element no i that, no. <laughs> no don't think so uh but there's a god of life and death or creation destruction the light and dark the vague uh, concepts that were believed to have created all life. Uh, and the mixture of their powers are believed to have been what created monsters. I like so we have to kill the gods. Oh no. <laughs> Bastards will no. pay. God slayer um, rat. God slayer rat. No, no. God of war. Though in terms of like human religion, elvish religion, uh, for everyone there's generally a god for these same concepts, but some of them are named, some of them have slightly different roles. Uh, in this case, Gunnasir is the Lord of Luck. It's a halfling god, actually. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, in terms of, like, this particular... Well, I can't... That's all you're gonna get, actually. You need to roll Knowledge Religion. Uh <laughs> Ooh, I know Knowledge Religion. It's trained. Then roll it. Mine is not... Good thing we have a monk on the team. Uh oh! Oh, damn it! Um, you know, yeah, you know, he's a a, a halfling god of luck who is supposedly uh, wandering the world as some kind of gambler. I didn't do much better. You no. know about the same much. He he's he's kind of like a god that is part of folklore, kind of thing. Okay. Fucking, I'll roll it. Everybody roll. Circa, that means you too. <laughs> roll that twenty. All right. <laughs> oh my nine. god. That's, that's better. You get a seven. Oh, oh, oh no. Turkey, oh. <laughs> you're not even convinced this is a real pantheon. <laughs> oh my god. There are no good blends. Turkey. I'm not interested. Turkey's a non believer. <laughs> oh my god. All of us stumbling around like, what the fuck's a god? <laughs> um, yeah, you, you guys haven't anymore. heard of this god before, but it's also not surprising considering that you are uh, travelers from very remote places. Like, you guys didn't pick standard stories at all. You're all from very remote places, so it makes sense you haven't heard of anything other than the majority pantheon. Mm -hmm. Um, in any case, uh, he has a few priests there. Um, I guess if you're looking for anything to deal with undead, they're the ones who can help you the most. Understood. Yeah, so yeah I think it'd be good to start there. Um, how well equipped are your medical facilities? Uh, they're 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 okay. Um, there's not exactly like. 
uh, a collective one, I guess I should say. There's, there's a few scattered here and there. We're, most people seek out uh, clerical healing here in Zedem. Hmm. Okay. Does the town know what's going on here? Oh, no. It would be far too much panic, and uh, it would make it far too easy for our, uh, the enemies to figure out what we're doing. Uh, the less they know, the better. That's, understandable. That's reasonable. So we won't say anything. I'm assuming the doctors don't know anything either, then. So they're not working on anything that may stave this off? Uh, no. I don't know how you stave off death. Fair enough. <laughs> can you just not die? <laughs> can one of you do me a quick favor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Type slash GM roll, and then like 1d20. I want to see if I can actually see that, if you do. I cannot do it. Nope, I'm not going to ask command. Slash GM roll 1d20. Not allowed. I wonder if there's a way to do a secret uh, Do slash GR. Try that. And then just whatever you're rolling. It was an error with the formula. I can't do that. Oh, I saw that. Whoever just did that one. That was... I was able to get it to work. Hmm. You did slash GR? Yeah, slash GR space 1d20. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so that, okay, that's how you roll a secret roll. Okay. Interesting. Cool. I got a mat one in my secret roll. <laughs> yeah, I saw. <laughs> Two of you got nat ones. Oh, oh, you no. got nat ones both times. I got a 15. This is not good. Shit. Domino, you want some pizza roll? Dude, I am hungry. I'll get cool. you some pizza roll. Pizza I'm actually going to take a, a quick break. I'll be right back. Pizza roll. <laughs> Um, I, uh, suppose there's also, uh, a shrine to, uh, Surar, uh, over in the Merchant's Ward. Boom. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> can you give me, uh, can you give me uh, Surar, uh, uh, the goddess of, uh, strength, I think? Uh, I'm not very good ah. with this myself. Fair. Uh, me neither. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask if there's, like, anywhere for the refugees to stay at all. Ah, uh, right. Um, I'm sure I can organize something for them. Thank you. Now the rest of us go into the this other shrine here. I suppose that's up to you wherever you go. Um let's try to keep communications between us uh minimal. Uh I'll organize to have one of my uh one of my agents meet you. Uh do you have a place you plan on staying thus far? That's a good question. What do your ends look like? Yeah, what what are the tabs and what are the They look ends? like ends. Oh, that's very nice. I thought you. they looked like outs actually. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm surprised I like just thought of that. Like that wasn't My My biggest concern was getting these people to safety, quite frankly. I, I didn't feel like I'd be staying here. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. But we're now we're looking into something, so... So now we have to. Yeah, now it looks like we are staying here, so what are the inns around town? Where can we stay? Or is there any situation that you could perhaps provide for us, since we're doing you a service? There's probably inns in the market. 
<laughs> it's probably <laughs> yeah. I'm not living there. The you know what? Let's just let's just sleep right in the middle of the marketplace. No. I'm not doing that again. Fuck okay, it, you know, I'll go pitch a tent and where do we come from? Yeah, you know what? I'll come with you. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, try that's... and cut a deal here. Awesome. Yeah, you're gonna try you're gonna be like, hey, can you just give us like a house or something? <laughs> oh, what the... <laughs> Just like, can I rent it from you? I... Let me stay at your place. You know, there was an inn in the last town. Maybe we could go. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! And there was that nice tiefling person you met. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're totally oh. still there. Oh, yeah. They're, they're dead. Really cool no. and sweet to you, you know. They're really nice. They're not dead. Oh, cool! There's Whoa, a quest thing. We got a quest. That's, That's so cool. cool. I like that. Wow. I love now let's this. rack Thank up a you. bunch of side quests and ignore the main <laughs> one for as long as possible. We will uh, die. Uh, um, as far as uh, inns go, I suppose I would suggest... There's actually a, a nice one over in uh, mm -hmm. the Slate Hill area. Um, it's right up the road from uh, the Odium of Revelry. Hmm. The so what? what is that? Those Odium were a lot of words that I did not understand. The Odium um, of Revelry. Right. Uh, it's um local theater. Oh. Uh, oh. Very, very fancy. Uh, okay, the, the, fun. the theater? Uh, the inn is called The Drunk Giant. Oh, good. Also, it's fakeness. Wow. Fakeness. <laughs> that's, that's mean. Wait, you didn't even like drink in the last tavern, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't. I I ate a you had, raw like, some apple piece of meat or something. I yeah, and a raw piece of meat. Straight off the leg. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> the drunk giant tavern. Uh, I suppose if you uh if you stay there, I can uh, have my agent meet you there uh, every. Uh, let's say every day around lunch. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then anything you need to tell me, you can tell them. Good. Heck yeah. Sounds like lunch a good deal to me. I'm gonna go to the market. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, I'm gonna well, go. You do need a weapon, so like that's a good yeah, place to go. That's fair. Well, I'm gonna go to the merchant's ward. What was that? Uh sorry, I I was inquiring about the merchant's ward. Like, what all is there? Merchant. Um. You know, you might be better off uh buying a map. Ah. Yes, that would help. Um, let's see. You mean to uh, tell me this isn't like Disneyland where they have free map handouts? Like when we walked in? Yeah. You mean to tell me there's no Mickey Mouse? No Mickey Mouse? Where's Mickey Mouse? It's no Mickey it's Mouse, it's only no red. Mickey in this shit. Only Purple <laughs> Haze. <laughs> purple Haze the rat! Ricky Rat, oh no. Ricky, oh, oh no! Uh, Oh shit. Ah oh, shit, a rat. It just reminds me of the fucking part in JoJo where, like, Mickey Mouse comes out of a pamphlet to kick people's ass. What? <laughs> okay, I guess this is like. My We're not getting part. into this. What? <laughs> Can you please uh, explain? The... Anyway. Please explain. But, <laughs> no, no, no. The... But the character, the character shouts like, "Where the fuck is Mickey? If there's no Mickey, then this shit ain't Disney." <laughs> the oh thing. my god! What the Tackle. fuck? So we. Um, I don't know if they'll give you one for free, but I can recommend uh one of the best map makers in the city. Uh, he's actually just up the street in a green home. I'm sure you noticed it. Uh, his house is completely covered in plants. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Well, then we're going there first. Yeah. Going to the weed house. No, stop. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and your hospitality. 
of course. Uh, anything for a group willing to help our citizens. Mm. I uh, look forward to working with you. Absolutely. We'll do our best. We will absolutely do our best. We should leave the nice man's house now. Alright, so... Is this uh, a he... <laughs> he shows you. He shows you all out, uh, letting you go, as he invites uh, the other villagers back into his home to discuss where they'll be staying. As you all head over to Greenholm. Yeah. Okay. So you guys walk across the street, and when you get there, uh, it's a large two-story building. Covered from top to bottom in vines and plants, seemingly completely overgrown, yet not in the way, like, the the plants aren't destroying the stonework so much as they seem to have been, con as it's constructed with the vines in mind. Oh, interesting. Uh, as you reach it, there are bushes lining the property as a sort of fence with an iron wrought gate, uh... Not a big one, like, it's one that you could easily just open and walk through yourself. Mm -hmm. But it is, like, uh, the entryway to the, the land. The place is cool. So, I'm gonna knock you... on the door. Okay, you go through the gate, and you walk <laughs> up to the door. Generally, when I go quiet, I'm waiting to hear what you want to do. I'm uh, sorry, I normally would be more responsive, but I'm shoving chips in my mouth, and I don't want to, like, ruin the ears of the audience. I was talking. I have, I have people yelling in the background, so I'm really <laughs> pushed to talk every now and then. I'm <laughs> sorry. Gosh. So, you walk up, all of you, going through the gate. Uh, who opens it? Me. Okay. Oh. Circus baby, she couldn't open it. So who's opening open it, Bigness? Yeah. So when you grab it, you can feel as almost like a light electric current, it almost feels like, as you push oh. it open. It doesn't hurt. It's just like slight tingling under your fingers. Hmm. Uh, and other than that, you walk up to the door, and before you even knock, you hear a voice from the other side. Oh. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, we're looking to buy a map. Uh, a map of where? This town. Here. <laughs> We're new here. Um, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, it'll be, uh, five silver. Okay, um, <laughs> do, do you want me to put it under the door? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> uh, one moment. <laughs> uh, and you, instead of the door opening, <laughs> you hear a slight click as... The wall connected to the door seems to open up a bit. Oh. As, uh, like a sort of... Uh, on like a, uh, a hinge, a compartment uh, slides open. Uh, almost like a mail drop, where like you pull it down and you can drop something in. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you can just put the silver in there. Okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Then. I'll pay for this. Alright, so you drop five silver in. Uh, and the compartment clatters and then closes itself once you let go. Uh, and a moment later, it pops open again with a map in it. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Uh, I hope it's to your liking. Oh, I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. I've never been here before. Can I open this real quick? Y'all, can y'all read this? <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> So, when you open up the map, it's very strange. It's not like any map you've really seen before. Uh, it's on heavy parchment, like he like thick, heavy parchment. Uh, and once you unroll it, it's very detailed, but in very sort of rough strokes. It doesn't look like it was done with like a, a paintbrush or a pencil. Hmm. It was done with like some kind of larger instrument, it seems. Did a goblin? Well, that's neat. Did a goblin no. make the map? <laughs> a goblin. It does not look like goblin work. It, it's oh, it's very. It's still incredibly precise. Like it still looks like a good map. It's just very strange. Strange map. 
<laughs> this map is quite strange. Is there anything we can roll to get more details? Knowledge map. Just ask me questions, and I'll say if you can get answers. Um, so it looks kind of rough, but it's really detailed. Um, yeah, it's, it's like almost looking like a at a detailed sketch. Oh, huh. Interesting. I'm inclined to believe that like a magic machine made this map based on what just happened. Magic machine, a printing press. I mean, you can uh, roll. Uh, let me look at skills real quick. Y'all realize how he never opened the door? Yeah. <laughs> what if he's a robot? Oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh no! He's just uh, a big you could fucking. Roll, you could roll appraisal on this if you wanted to try and figure out what's up with it. You I could also the, um, pizza rolls. Ma oh. Maybe linguistics. <laughs> Not just a walking Xerox um, and he printed it himself. You don't have to like have ranks and appraise to do a check, right? No, you can just roll it. Okay. So, Circa, you're looking at this, and the more you look at it, you feel like it wasn't created by someone that has hands. Huh. You, you can't you can't quite pin your finger on it, but you're pretty sure it was made by someone that couldn't hold a pencil or pen normally. Like they had to be using something unique. That's interesting. Cool. That is very interesting. I want to meet this guy, but it'd be very rude to run, knock on his door again. Be like, hey, can you come out? Hey, can you? Yeah, you, you have a, a feeling. Date? You have a feeling that he knows you're still on the porch. Oh. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, because we're oh, sort wait. of new pause around the here. Stream? Hmm. Uh, QB paused the stream when he left. He did, oh. but they can still hear. Oh, okay. Um, I, can I muted, they? So I don't know if they can hear us. They can. Yeah, so okay. when I'm on the be right back screen, everyone can still hear stuff. Okay. Because of my, um... They should be able to. Let me make sure. Was QB ever really here? No, he wasn't. You're looking at a hologram. <laughs> Hi, I'm actually pre-recorded. Um, <laughs> I want to... recorded stream. <laughs> 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 this video is already up on YouTube. Um... You're late. Comic, you just woke up from a from a coma. Oh my god. The year's 2050. No 2050. more toilet paper. COVID's still here. <laughs> toilet paper is now currency. Pee pee poopy oh paper my god. is now. Um, I w I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I I am not a part of this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay, sorry. I'm just gonna talk to this person question mark through the door and say uh this map is really unique um and really interesting is there anything special about how you made it um uh no 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 why i don't know why you'd think that <laughs> it's just a map uh you had, like, a magic compartment open to take our money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you to implying? To be fair. <laughs> the door, yeah. We have a warrant for your uh, arrest, I'm, Mr. I'm... Magic Man. No, I'm don't just say... <laughs> not much of a people person at all. Practice That's understandable. Yeah, good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, me neither, buddy. Thanks for the map. He's practicing oh. social distancing. He's practicing social distancing. Um, if we need any more maps, like, for the surrounding area, can we come back? Or do you only sell maps of, like, here? here? Um, no, yeah, you can come back if you need others. Good to know. Cool. Much appreciated, sir. I don't say this in character, but like, how does he know what the outline lying area looks like to make a map if he doesn't leave his house? He's a magic man. Oh, he has yeah. drones. We don't know his story. He's oh my god. <laughs> He's <laughs> He's bro. 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 Jeff Bezos. That is a very <laughs> fair question. Can I. Is, is this... it rude to ask someone that? We're in fucking 1800 BC. This man's living in 3033. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man. This guy came from the future. He has a time machine in there, bet. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Can't Someone believe ask him if he's a wizard. Rick's making <laughs> fucking maps now, man. I'm not gonna press him any further. I wanna buy more maps. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Doctor Who, is that you? Stop! <laughs> Doctor Who? Do we you? No. Um, where's the TARDIS? No! <laughs> um, <laughs> retired. So, in, in Wait, regards we... to the actual city, did you have questions uh, by using the map you wanted to answer? Like, you were asking about the merchant's ward before? Mm-hmm. Uh, so on it, you do see the location of the Shrine of Surar. Okay. Uh, it also appears to be some kind of large statue in a sort of clearing. Um, there's also, across the road from it, the only other, like, noted location appears to be something called the Gallows Tree. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I knew it. We better go check know. that out, gang. No, we should. Uh, wait, one more thing before we go. Um, did we get this guy's name? I do not remember. No. No. Ask him um, the map maker. Yeah, someone asked him his name. I feel like I've bothered mm. him enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> before we head out, what's your name? Just so we can remember you. Oh, um... Uh, you can just call me, uh, Ferris. Ferris. That's a nice name. There are those that call me... Tim. Tim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I like that. But he's never coming out of his room. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Think. I'm an okay. idiot. That's not his name. Oh no! He lied to his us. Name's, his name's Yanum. Yanum? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love that. You said cool. so disappointed. Just oh. Just he's like, my name's Ferris. Wait a minute. No, it's not. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> guys. I, I lied to you. I didn't think I put a name down for him, so I just made one up. And then I checked my notes. I was like, wait, no, I gave him a name. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> you have been named. He has been named. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. I've written that down. Kitty. Yeah. Yeah, she's here. I'm trying. That's why I'm not like speaking a whole lot. It's because there's comment. like so much noise happening around me. That's fair. Um, okay. and uh, as far as the districts go, uh, the merchants ward. And the noble village are mostly just homes, really. Oh. Um, even this building, Green Home, is really just a house. He's just selling you stuff out of his house. Oh. Huh. Um, respectively for, uh, like... Are you gaming? Yes, I am. Too. And have fun with that. <laughs> My mom just walked in out of nowhere. Um, Hello, mom. So, like, the South Nobles Village is where the richest live, with the Merchant's Ward being the middle upper class going down towards Slate Hill and Dragonsboro. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. What all is in Dragonsboro, then? Dragons. Um, in Dragonsboro, there's a lot more uh, small businesses. There's other inns and taverns um, that are a little on the rougher side. <laughs> Um, it's also, again, that's where the shrine to the god of luck is. Okay. Okay, so we're heading up there anyway. So this is low income. Yes. Okay. And this is where the rich people go. This is the market. And people live here. People also live here. The rich uh, people live probably where rich we're people at. people live in Burgeons and South. Slate Hill is regular and Dragonsboro is low. Gotcha, okay. That makes more sense. Where are we heading? The shrine, right? The talk to the clerics. Yeah, I think that is the best plan. Yeah. Now that we got a map, actually, and we can see where we're going. Um, Let's go. And we could check out the gallows thing after, right? 
Yeah. Do you really want to go there? Or if it's like... I want to at least get like a little peek at it to see if there... it's scary. So there are <laughs> different shrines. There's the God of Luck in Dragonsboro, or the Goddess of Strength in the Merchant's Ward. Uh, the Goddess of Strength is the one next to the Gallows Tree. I want to go there. Let's Yeah, let's hit the Merchant's Ward first. Okay, yeah. It is closer, so yeah. Mm-hmm. It's on the way. Alright. So, I'm just moving you all as a unit. Boop. That's fine. Woo! One of us. Following the map, one whole unit, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're working as a party for once. Um, yeah. Following the map, you guys navigate your way up to the city. Uh, and while the city is fairly grid-like, uh, you you notice that this map is actually very accurate. It has like alleyways and everything mapped out as well. Oh, nice. oh wow! Uh, including even like weird details like. The shapes of roofs are carved into this one. Oh. Huh. Uh, like where chimneys are on buildings and things like that. Um, in any case... This is a strange scene. As you uh, reach the shrine, you see what appears to be a large stone statue of a human woman with long hair wearing uh, half plates, like a, a large breastplate with some plates here and there on her arms, legs... Wielding what appears to be a great sword in one hand and a shield in the other. Huh. He's strong. That's neat. Very strong. I don't know. You should get yourself a sword. (laughs) (laughs) So, it is in the middle of a sort of a a clearing. There's no temple here. Like, it's not a church. Um, However, it is in a clearing with the shrine there. Um, and while most of the people there seem to be giving some offerings and leaving, uh, the offerings are, like, uh, generally seems to be coin, flowers, um, some people are bringing, uh, weapons, and they're doing, like, training and sparring in the clearing around the shrine. Uh, and one person seems to be standing out from, uh, the others, uh, while the others do have uh, some equipment and the likes, this particular woman uh, stands calmly up near the statue. Uh, she is also a female human who has gray hair and brown eyes and a sort of flat nose. And she is wearing splint mail. Like a splint mail? Splint mail is a. Uh, it's made of uh, metal strips attached to a backing of leather. Hmm. Oh shit, that looks cool. I just looked it up. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, she's... I love your cats, so like man. I really uh, split, do. <laughs> split male sort with... Basically, it looks like... I'm. It's, this is going to make it sound ridiculous, but imagine like a xylophone wrapped around your vest. <laughs> That is kind of exactly what it looks that like. That is exactly what it is. Oh, that's so good. Uh, and compared to... It's it's definitely heavy armor. It's, like, very good armor. Question. Does it sound like a xylophone? Oh my god. You don't know. Would you like to find out? <laughs> Maybe for my next... <laughs> <cider box. laughs> well, oh my god. Dope. Uh, okay. And because you were curious about it, um, across the clearing, there is what appears to be a long dead ironwood tree. Huh. Uh, there doesn't really appear to be anything unique about it, other than the fact that it's a dead tree that's still standing there. Um, except the area around it doesn't really have grass. It's not paved. It's just sort of gravel stone. I'm assuming this is on purpose. Uh, yeah, you can imagine. Uh, people are also kind of making a point of not standing near it. It seems oh. like they're, they're, it's very, uh, very much a, a left alone. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Anybody have a nature knowledge? Because like I do. Can I can I roll to figure out what the hell is wrong with it? I also have nature. Knowledge. Sure. Can I can I roll knowledge history to see what you know has happened here? Sure. Shit. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Um, Fagus, as far as you can tell, there's nothing like, uh, <laughs> is that knowledge nature? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, as far as the both of you can tell, there's nothing really, uh, that weird in terms of nature about this tree. Other than the fact that it's very much, uh, well, the fact that it's still there so long after being dead in the middle of the city. Usually you'd imagine they'd be uprooted and replaced or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Domino, even with only a seven, you can kind of guess just by the name of the tree, the gallows tree. Um, you can guess that it used to be where they hung prisoners. Oh, dear. And they kept it? Is it cursed? You have no idea. You would ask people. I don't think I want to. Um, Sergei... Just gonna go up to the person in Splint Mail and um, greet them politely. That's Grandma. Oh my god. What? So as you walk up, uh, this woman looks down at you, uh, then very far down at you, and she's <laughs> like, uh, hello, I didn't think I'd be seeing a goblin here. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Someone go oh, no. you, have, child. you have to realize this is this is a human goddess. This isn't like the the major pantheon. Um, so just about everyone there is human except you know. Yeah, we're gonna raise some eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a goblin ever doesn't raise eyebrows. Yes. Um, as she examines you and she goes, uh. What, uh, what brings you here? Um. Do we have a here. story? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. Uh-oh. This is your, your, this is your speaking. I just <laughs> wanted to make that joke. Um. We're just here to learn a little bit more about the goddess. And, um, hopefully come into contact with some priests. Um, you look like you might know a little bit about the area, so. Uh, I would. I am the cleric and paladin of Sarah. My name oh, is Vithon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. Out of character. Yeah, hmm. Give me that. Um, we should probably take her aside and tell her about the situation, right? Um, I don't think we're allowed. Maybe not. He said not to. Yeah, we no, probably we don't need to give them that much right mm. now. Uh, just, yeah. just a reminder, um, being a paladin doesn't mean you're, like, a super important figure automatically. It, that's a class name still. Okay. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Like, people from no, the general like, yeah. populace... populace didn't know about that there's like zombies and shit. And this yeah, is no, really something that we I'm should just, just like just reminding you guys what uh what paladins are exactly. Okay. I would still treat them with respect, high key. Respect, but they aren't yeah, they probably don't need to be like Love hey, yourself. Listen, there's some yeah, zombies. Respect yourself. <laughs> hey man, you know but, some uh... zombies. <laughs> oh god. So you'd like to learn about Surar? Um Yes. I'm. We don't know that much about them at all. So any information would be nice. Of course. Uh, well, Surar isn't a standard god, obviously. We believe. Or, well, I suppose the story is that in a past war, there was a woman who's husband went off to battle, refusing to allow her to come with because he thought she was weak. He fell in battle, and in her grief, she went and beseeched the god of Earth to grant her the strength to avenge her fallen loved one. And he replied. He asked her if she sought revenge, and she said, no, I want to use my strength to seek out peace. 
impressed by her answer, he granted her the strength to lead the battle and end the war. Uh, and as such, she has become the goddess of strength. That's a good... Yeah, I like that. I respect this lady. She's pretty cool. She was a great warrior. Uh, would you like to hear more, or did you have uh, other business to do? Hmm. Uh, is the girl of... here? <clears throat> uh, Sorry to interrupt. Is the rest of the group with you, or did you run off to go help? Or, like, go talk to her? Um, uh, Serge walked up without you guys, but you're still pretty nearby. Yeah, we're oh, okay. in short, like, around looking. <clears throat> uh, yes. As she side eyes the half demon. Uh oh. Oh dear. Who? You. The me? You said excuse me. I think it's because you coughed, but. Wait. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. It wasn't in character. Mm -mm. Oh, wasn't it? No. I'll say hello. I'll come up behind uh, Serke and ask who, who her new friend is. Hey, sweetie, who's your new friend? Exactly. <laughs> okay, just from looking down. Oh, so no, no. Like, oh dear. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Bethan. Ah, huh. very nice. Um, I am Sir K, and this is Famous. Hello. A uh, pleasure to meet you both. <laughs> I guess I'll walk up too, just for funs. Oh dear. Now, now she gives you a bit of a side eye. Oof. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna, like, walk up behind the... <laughs> I'm so fucking sure. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm for oh, You wanna no. buy the plague? You wanna buy, oh. you wanna buy some dead sticks? <laughs> no. I'm the fucking Resident <laughs> Evil 4. <laughs> <laughs> what are you buying? What are you buying? Uh, yeah. What are you selling? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. So, uh, are these your friends as well? Sorts. We're companions, I'll say that for sure. Probably. Yeah, we got out of a sticky situation together. Hmm. We're on a quest to, uh, familiarize with the culture of this town. I see. Well, I suppose religion is a good place to start. Uh, a good number of people come here each day to uh, uh, bestow offerings to Our Lady. Uh, it's said any who do... Uh, I'm losing my... Uh, and it said oh. any who do are to gain her favor. What, what if sort we of were offerings to... are appropriate? Oh, no. <laughs> Like that, vile. No. Uh, I'm just asking because I don't have that lot on. You me. must arm wrestle 100 people. <laughs> and then you will gain a boon Gives of them all the plague on accident. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. People, Bobby. people offer coin most often, but uh, many, as you can see, uh, come here and train, and they pledge to use their skills to protect their families and loved ones, and that is their offering. Offer. No one important. I think I might be interested in uh, doing that. Though I don't have any religious background, will it still count? It's never too late to begin following a new god. Hmm. All right, how do I get started? <laughs> uh, well, sign me up. Uh, Where's the waivers? <laughs> in, yeah, um, let's, let's go. Thickness <laughs> fights Jesus. Directs oh, no. you to uh, find people who are training and ask if you can join them. 
uh, I'm not gonna make you go through rounds of combat with random civilians. That'd be cool, though. Do That'd it. be neat. Do it. Oh, I'll do one or two. Like, Kill yeah, them. Crunch. <laughs> oh, she's like, I use, <laughs> I use the poison on my weapon. No, no. Oh, no. oh my god. I stabbed they... this man in the throat. <laughs> They give you training weapons to use. You are not killing people. Does this <laughs> please you? Does this please you, God? I murdered this man. Oh, no. Again, your the favor. Anyway. Uh oh. Um, Just uses enlarged person again. <laughs> and as as you start uh, going and looking for a partner, you do begin to notice that a large majority of the people trained here. I, my phone keeps falling. Are in fact uh, women training uh, to become soldiers or warriors of some kind? That's wonderful. Uh, some of them have on their armor the same symbol as uh, Bethan does, and you imagine they might be paladins or clerics in training as well. <clears throat> this is lovely. <laughs> this won't interrupt anybody else's shit, will it? No, you'll just be spending downtime sparring there. Gotcha. Okay. Can I can I spar but not like follow the religion? I don't think I... that's. <laughs> I suppose you, you can if fight? someone <laughs> needs a partner. Fight me! Fight me right now! I'm gonna fight you. One v one. You wanna fight? If it, I guess, I don't know. I don't... I feel like if I walk up to any of these people, I'm gonna intimidate them. Well, they better get used to it. They train to be soldiers. <laughs> That's true. Are there anybody... Or, I guess, any women that are available to train currently? Uh, there are a few that are watching matches that aren't, like, currently partaking in one. You. Fight me. <laughs> oh my god. May I approach? Ow. You may. Uh, so, going up uh, to, I suppose, get the first woman you see who's available. Mm -hmm. uh, you ask her to spar you, and she, surprisingly to you at least, she isn't really that scared of you. Oh. Um, as you imagine, the people who are training here... They, they follow what is supposed to be, like, be powerful, don't be afraid, show your strength, and use your strength for good. Mm -hmm. So they aren't exactly, like, untrained war. They're not, like, bandits who are just trained to fire and bug people. These are people who have been training to fight. I am inspired. Um, just roll me a general... Check. Check, check. Okay. Uh, even so, you, uh, over the course of your spar, you are very much holding your own against them, no problem. Uh, despite their training, they're still not, um, how do I put it? They're still not, like, professional soldiers. Like, they're, they're definitely able to hold their own, but they're not, uh, Adventures. Adventurers do tend to end up a lot stronger than normal people, just because yeah. you're out fighting much more dangerous threats. Mm hmm. That makes sense. I just didn't want to beat her up or anything. I feel bad. <laughs> you pick her up, suplex her. Oh, God. <laughs> no, bye you, bye. You very much can spar and be and like have the upper hand without brutalizing them. Good. You, you just hold back when you're winning or like you call a pause and you reset and you start again that's nice i love this thank you uh how long do you spend there fignus uh how many hours do i have in the day uh left in the day maybe three or four before it gets dark okay i'm gonna spend an hour there all right what is everyone else doing then i'm gonna go to the market and see if i can't buy stuff Alright, so you're headed to the market. Is anyone else going with him? Um, yeah, I need to get some more rations. Yeah, I'll probably follow, but I gotta be right back. I gotta clean something up. 
No problem. He's got to get rid of the stink lines. Oh my god. He's got to wash <laughs> his face. Ooh, buh, 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 buh. Yawn. Alright. Um, <laughs> so you guys all head over to the market. Uh, what are each of you looking for in particular? Um, I want to get some, like, protective gear. I don't get like armor on by the guy. or um, shields or I can't okay. wear armor per se. Well, you can. You're just not proficient. I mean, it gives me a debuff if I do. I Are you looking for hand wraps? <laughs> kind of, sorta. Of, like something to protect my hands and like arms, I guess. Like leather, like leather gloves or something like that. Or, like hand wraps. Would be considered armor. Uh, are you looking for things to grant you a bonus to AC? I guess. Um, so for your fighting style, you assume if you wanted, like, something that can actually protect you without slowing you down, you might need magical equipment, which is gonna be out of your price range. <laughs> oh, how much are we talking um, let's see. Wondrous items. I'm just gonna scroll down and see what one of the cheapest I see is. Uh, one of the cheapest... Actually, I can go to hand items specifically. Hands. Uh, the cheapest item on this list is 180 gold, <gasps> and then the second oh. cheapest is 1,300. Gotcha. So the <laughs> cheapest. That's the cheapest. Gotcha. Okay. Ma magic is very expensive. Yeah. That's fair. I don't even think you'd be able to find it here. Um, well, looking for basic items, you could definitely find them in plenty of cities. It's generally a, a random roll to see how many quote-unquote items are available. Ah. Um, in this case, I don't think there's an item that exists exactly for what you're looking for, but it's easy enough to homebrew up a stat block for it. Gotcha. I mean, can I, like, custom, like, go to, like, a leather worker and be like, hey, I need something to, like, help my hands? Not like break. <laughs> Fair some, enough. At least some padding or something. Um, I try to think of how I would have it mechanically, if anything. Um, You can find... Yeah, okay. So you go to find a leather worker. Um, and when you find one, and you go up and you ask if you can create gloves that can help protect your hands. Uh, he says... Yes. Uh, they won't be... The greatest, especially since you, uh... Need to be moving quickly. But, well, they won't exactly protect you, per se. They'll make anything that hits you hurt not quite as much. Perfect. And, uh, uh, how much will that be? It'll be... <laughs> I forget, do you have, like, claws? Like, long nails? Um, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. I, I don't remember what all your features were. It was like sharp teeth, uh... Sharp teeth, the horns. Um, horn and tail, for now. Right, okay. Um... For a, a custom build like this, 10 gold? They're done. We'll give him 12 gold and give him a 2 gold tip. 
All right. Should be no uh, problem. Probably stolen noble money. <laughs> so giving him, giving him twelve gold, he he squares it away, and he takes some measurements, and he says it'll be done. And uh, if you come back tomorrow evening, we'll be done. Good. Thank you very much. Of course. Uh. Uh, Serke, you were also doing shopping, and so was Hayes. Yeah, I'm just looking for some rations. I ate all my food. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> a good idea, actually. I was going to replenish some rations as well. Um, right, rations. Rations. How much are rations, and where's the guy? Uh, finding people to sell food is easy. That's not an issue. Um, so, there are different types of rations. I don't know if you guys at them. I just know of, like, trail rations. Oh, like, I didn't realize there was any other kind. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize there were different types. Do they, de do they like, do different things? Yeah. Most of them are for races, uh, but I actually don't think they're races for, or ones for the ones you guys are playing. Um, like, there's a, a cheaper one called Wander Meal. That uh, it lasts for months without spoiling, but you uh -oh. have to make a fortitude save if you eat it. Oh my god! Uh oh. Fuck. What happens if you fail? Uh, you feel sick. Oh. Uh, there's trail rations and then there's regular rations. Trail rations are uh, they they won't go they won't go bad. Regular rations are like things that will go bad over time. I'm definitely going to be looking for trail rations. Yeah. All right. Uh, trail rations. I don't think I'm them. immune to disease. I don't think I'm immune to disease yet. <laughs> uh, trail rations are five silver per ration. So one gold for two. Okay. Can I um, eat back up with A's and okay to buy some rations? Yes, you, you can also buy your rations. <laughs> So if it's one gold for every two, I buy like five golds worth. That's ten rations. I was yep. about to say I'm about to buy five golds worth. Okay. That is exactly right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think I'll do that as well. All right, you all buy. 10 days worth of rations, and you get one premier ration as a <laughs> Wow, oh my... what a nice promotional. <laughs> I like That's that. That's, That's a good job. Um, I don't know if it would be something I could find in the market, but I figure I should ask. Um, would there any? Would there be, like, anybody selling um, some, like, more exotic potion ingredients anywhere, or would I have to just go to the, like, an actual like store for that i don't know if anyone would be selling that in the market uh roll me a i keep wanting to say investigation but that's not a skill uh, let's roll me perception then okay I have to keep reminding myself what the skill list is. I've been playing 5e a lot. No worries. You have plus 11 perception. Good god, dude. Yep. That's pretty fucking good. He's very attentive. Perceptive Last rat. level up, I put an extra rank in it. So oh <laughs> I put ranks in perception every time I level up, so I feel you there. Craft, alchemy, and uh, perception both are 11. That's beautiful. So, <laughs> going going through, you actually find two different stores that you think might have useful uh, materials. One of them is owned by a man, uh, a man, a man named. A man. Uh, this is this isn't just um, like you looking around. This is also you overhearing rumors and asking around a bit. Um, Okay. And okay. you find out uh, there are two places you could potentially go to. One of them is a wood seller named Arliss. Uh, he might not have any materials for you himself, 
but he is known for apparently telling stories of strange things in the forest and where to find them. Uh, the other right, right. is Malia, uh, who is just a regular alchemist. Uh, and she's also apparently known for her mystery potion. Oh dear. Whoa, loot box potion. Oh, that's potion. fun. <laughs> that's oh fun. no. Uh, she, she sells potions at a discount that are safe, they will not kill you. Like, she's not selling poison. Oh, um, good. But she doesn't tell you what they are. Sounds fun to me. I'll gamble. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Where are these? Like in the within the city? Like where are these places? Th these are both in the market. These are both in the market. Okay. Yeah. There there are uh, some we'll to... like building stores in the market. It's not just a open air. Okay. Okay. Then uh, we'll go to Malia first. I feel I'd go to Malia first. Well, of course you would. All right, yeah, so I, those mystery potions intrigue me the most. You uh, head over to Malia, uh, and as you step in, once again, it's almost like the apothecary, but a little more homely. Uh, there's nothing really in there specifically for medical needs. So there's a lot of ingredients hanging and drying in the on the ceiling. There's shelves along the walls filled with various herbs. Uh, bottles are in cases filled with different types of bubbling and shifting liquids of various colors. And behind the counter is a human woman. Alright, cool. Um, I'm gonna walk up, uh, say hello, and um, ask uh, what she's selling. Uh, as you walk up, she looks at you and she goes... I'm selling cow tongue. It's an oh alchemist my... store. What do you think I'm selling? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I, <laughs> I, got I love her. It makes sense, yeah. Um, so I'm going to say, like, I heard you have these mystery potions. As I'm you say this, know more about them. She, she does, like, her eyes, like, light up a little bit. Oh, so, you made a friend. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I sell, just for fun, uh, some potions at a discount, but they're, uh, they're not labeled. How much? Uh, it's about a 25% discount. So, uh, just so you know, uh, a level zero potion, so like a potion that has a cantrip in it, costs yeah. 25 gold. So, on her discount, it's, like, closer to 20. Okay. All right, uh, and like, level out. 1 potions are 50, so it's, like, 12 off, so it's, like, 38. Okay, okay. Um, and then she's also selling ingredients, yeah? How much would I, like, how much gold would it be, um... Like, would it be depending on the ingredients, or? So, uh, I'm pretty sure Brew Potion tells you that. Let's see, Brew Potion. You can create a potion... Nope, Magic Adam Creation Rules. You can create potions of level 3 or lower. I wish I could find the fucking... Yo, what real are you talk, for? I might make more pee. You're still hungry? <laughs> I am still hungry. Okay, are you looking we'll make for some more. Uh, formula list, or...? No, I'm looking for magic item creation. Oh. Right, I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna leave the stream. Or I'm gonna leave the... everything open so people can see what's going on. Alright. Oh. Ouch. Creating potions. Uh. What? Material components are consumed. The act of brewing does all this. Fuck. 
Oh, okay. The cost of materials and ingredients are subsumed for the cost of brewing the potion. 25 multiplied by the level of the spell multiplied by the level of the caster. Okay, okay. So, for example, to make a... I don't know, like, a, a, a potion of healing, because you are now level 2, would be 50 gold, because it would be a level 2 potion. Okay, okay. So it would be 25 times the level of the spell, which is 1. Your cast level is 2, so it would be 50 gold. Um, gotcha. And that's the cost of materials and ingredients. Okay, okay. <laughs> then, um... And you found how many... I said you found things... For, you said you were looking for healing potions when you were searching last time, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and how many quote-unquote units did I say I gave you? Um, three. Alright, I'm gonna say every unit is ten golds worth of material. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. Um, for now, uh, until we complete, uh, complete whatever, you know, the quest that we're getting and I'll get more money. For now, I'm just gonna buy... Uh, a mystery potion for 20 gold. Okay, so you're gonna buy a level 0 mystery potion? Yeah, because I only have, like, 27 gold because I spent the rest on rations. Alright, no problem. Uh, so... God damn it. Overdose, so what would I write down? Just mystery potion or one sec? Yep, write down mystery potion dash four. All right, cool. Would there be any like anything I could roll to see if I know would know what it was or no? You could attempt to identify it. Uh opening up the skill list again. It would probably be appraisal. Okay. Um or so... knowledge arcana, maybe. Well, either one of those is the same modifier for me, so. All right, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna so I'm gonna buy the mystery potion, get it, and then uh, overthrow the monarchy. Head out, and then when I'm outside, I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> know what it is. I, I feel like it'd be rude to do it in front. What of you're gonna be doing it? In oh, okay. Sorry, it is spellcraft to identify a magic item. <laughs> All right, Excuse let's me. see. Bro, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Just swallowed my spit. Oh. Gross. Yeah. He has Hold Corona. Up. No! Was he kitty? Ah, kitty. Is that poo poo pee pee paper? Are you poo -poo -pee -pee. trained in spellcraft? He's purring. Yeah. Um. I. I yes. Yes, I am. I think. Wait. Did you my... put pranks into it? No. No. My bad. My bad. Okay, that's making sure. <laughs> you know. Uh, you rolled what? A fifteen. Yes. So you look through it and you find out that this is a potion of purify food and drink. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty pogs. Purify food and drink. Okay. Just in case. What? Uh, purify food and drink uh, allows you to purify one cubic foot of contaminated food and water. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. It is really nice, actually. Yep. And when I get, and then whenever we finish uh, the task that we are given, I'm taking all of my gold and I'm buying more mystery potions. It's <laughs> it's fun. No. It's like doing the lottery. I just gotta keep doing it. <laughs> I don't know. Eventually, I'll works. get something real good. I bet. <laughs> that is, in fact, not how it works. All right. Oh, um, yeah, entirely. <laughs> but still. But still. All right. Uh, yeah, but jumping you though. To, jumping to you, uh, Circa and Domino again. You guys buying anything else? Yes, actually. I'm going to go to a weapons crafter or weapons. 
or weapon store. Either... And Sergey, did you plan on buying anything else? I'm still checking. Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else that I'd need. Maybe some rope. Some rope? Rope? Reminds me of that scene from um, oh. Boondock Saints, if anyone's seen that movie. Oh, oh my god. Fucking ropes. <laughs> By a fucking rope. Well, uh, Domino, you go off to a blacksmithy. Uh, and what are you looking for? I want to buy quarterstaff. And maybe some nunchaku. <laughs> Bro, quit twerking on me, cat. Oh my god. Buddy. Look at this baby. Chat, look at the camera. Chat, look at this. Hold on, whoops, I exited out of the stream. I tried to click on it, I exited out. <laughs> like, like, I'm... Is he being baby? Oh! <laughs> oh so my goodness! <laughs> <You're t> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry for not petting you. It, my, my cats get mad at me when I talk, and they're around me. They'll scratch. The just, I like how I just saw one of them fly away. I'm like, oh hush. <laughs> Yeah, you can fly away now. Yeah, I wish my cat was like that. He just Doo -doo. fucking runs away if I pet him. <laughs> He's purring loudly into the mic. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> this cat has taken control of him, dude. Yeah, for real. You guys thought I was a, a, a tiefling, but I'm actually a cat folk. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. All right. Anyway, uh, a quarter staff and nunchuck stood. I was thinking about nunchaku, but like, eh, I don't know. I know. I'll get a morning star. Yeah. Uh, so nunchaku are well, there's like a... are you proficient in nunchaku? I'm proficient in any sort of martial weapon. Uh, it is not martial. Those are exotic. Really? Let me double check. Cause I'm pretty sure it's a monk weapon. It is a monk weapon, but it is a exotic weapon. Monk is a uh, feature. Okay. Let me double check the class. Please do. Unchain the monk. I thought. Huh. They don't have. I thought I had it on my I character think... sheet somewhere, but I guess its proficiencies aren't listed on the character sheet. Uh, you are proficient. Um, you are. I was looking. Okay, so. Um, or any weapon with a monk special weapon quality. Yes. So, club, crossbow, dagger, hand, axe, javelin, comma, nunchaku, quarterstaff, sai, short sword, short spear, shuriken, singham, sling, spear. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so... This. Uh, the quarterstaff is easy. Generally, people don't even, like, buy these. You just go out and you, like, pull one off a tree. Um, oh, okay. So, it's, like, two silver. Or quarter stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, as for the nunchaku, it will cost you uh, five gold. I will. Do you so... need the stuff on those or? <clears throat> no, I, I I can go through um, roll twenty and just drag and drop them in my inventory, and it'll automatically do the stats and stuff. Um, okay. Cool. Question is: Is there really much of an advantage of having like so as a monk? Um, is there really any advantage to having a weapon over kind of doing unarmed strikes for everything? Uh, what's your unarmed strike right now? Is it a D six or D four? It's a D six. One D six plus five. Um, some of them have other features like reach or a trip. Uh. 
Some of them also might have different critical modifiers. Okay. Or or offer different damage type. Gotcha. I feel like I never. Whenever I play a monk, I usually don't get weapons because I don't use yeah. them most of the time. So like, uh, knuckle axes are monk weapons that do slashing damage. That was a knuckle axe. Um, good question. I think it's like a knuckle axes are blades mounted on brass knuckles. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Can I get one of get those? Some of those. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get myself some brass knuckles? Like. <laughs> Uh, wearing them will override your damage, though, just so you know. Hey, what? So, like, if you get, uh, an upgraded... Like, when your, uh, punching goes up to D8, it, it'll still use D6 if you use these weapons. I'm not following. So if I were to don't... Get... Go ahead. Doesn't your, uh, fist damage increase in time? Uh, yes, so my unarmed strike does... Um, do more and more damage as time goes by. Yeah, so if you are using one of these weapons, your unarmed strike will not, like, you'll be using the weapon damage, not your unarmed strike. Oh, okay, so if I were to get, like, brass knuckles, it would be whatever the brass knuckle damage is, and not, like, yes. the unarmed strike damage. Yes. Okay. Oh, man. That's, so that's, oh, fuck, okay. Like, where my hesitation to get any sort of weapons comes from is the fact that in time, my unarmed strike is probably just going to be super good and I won't really get any weapons. Makes sense? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it might just be like you find an enemy that's immune to bludgeoning damage, so you need a slashing weapon. Fair. I guess it wouldn't hurt have any sort of like actual weapon weapon uh -huh. I, and i don't want to but it would be a uh, good idea if maybe to think about a ranged weapon actually because if your fists are in front of you <laughs> yeah but i have no ranged weapon feet no but it would be good just in case i guess i can take like a and crossbow I have proficient in hand crossbows, or is that just right, those? Uh, you are what? You are not proficient in bows, or you can use light crossbows, not hand crossbows. Okay. Um, I think. Go go to someone else while I'm thinking. All right. Uh, Hayes, are you going anywhere else? Uh, no. I was gonna talk to the other guy when I come back inevitably, but I was going to ask this. So this is like a human, uh, like town with a human market. So I doubt there'd be anywhere that would sell like tail blades or anything. Uh, you imagine you could get one, like, custom-made, but it would take time. Yeah, time like my, and money like my that hand I reps. Have. I could give you money if you really need it. Like, if you find someone... Like, if you go... If, come to the black um, smith with me and ask him. I was just thinking about it, because it's really it's really funny to think about, but I do have a morning star, so I don't think I need it. Well, you never know. Your mornings, You can get disarmed from your morning star and then... Weapon look. Oh, yeah. And then I just uh, stab him with my tail. You said you were going to go meet Arliss? I, I was going to do that later when I inevitably come back here. Okay. Um, Circa, do you want to buy rope? <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, a silver, maybe. Cool. You, you like you you're still in the same general store that you got the food at and you're just like oh yeah uh, rope rope lamp oil bombs <laughs> hmm? bombs 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 you say bomb? bombs no uh oh my bombs that's just tingling blade boot bombs uh, actually I'm wrong <laughs> a rope is actually a gold 
Oh. Oh no. That's not that big of a <laughs> Okay, uh, let me correct that on the sheet then, and I'll write it in. For 50 feet of rope. Yeah, it's a lot of rope. I feel like it will be... Holy shit. (laughs) Useful? Hot damn. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. You've been banned from the Miss Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for inappropriate behavior. Miska, Muska, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Mickey just shoots you. <laughs> You've been banned? <laughs> for fuck saying you. the word fuck. You've He's been like, we banned can't say from Club Penguin. <laughs> oh my oh gosh, no. I love Club Penguin. <laughs> Shout out to Club Penguin, man. Can we, can we get Fs in the chat? Please. <laughs> no. Fine, you were an unbeliever anyway. I was wow. gonna put F, but now I feel like I'm going to be taking side. <laughs> <laughs> Take my side. That's valid. I'm a mod, I have. Yes. Aha! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> the deep Mickey Mouse voice. Um, I do have an unrelated question. Um, just because I've. As we're fucking looking at weapons, e, <laughs> some of them are interesting. Markiplier so E. If... <laughs> oh no. So, <laughs> she, if you were to get a cobalt tail attachment, are you allowed to use that? Or are cobalt's way smaller? I think cobalt's are like half my size, so it wouldn't fit. Okay. I also have my tail as a regular use weapon anyways. It's it's bludgeoning damage. Okay. Her, okay. She already has a poison to... tail to begin with. Yeah, but, I could kill people with this. <laughs> but there's different versions, like a razored version, a spiked version. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, there's like six, there's like five different <sighs> ones here. I'm just gonna tape a chainsaw to my tail. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, Key. You buy knives and just tape them to your face. That'd be <laughs> fucking cool, though. Like, real talk? That would be pretty fucking sick. Yeah, I just. I love looking at these weapons because there's some shit I would never have even thought about. And it'd be <laughs> super impractical for me to get, but man, would it be fun. It'd be fun. All right. Uh, so are you getting anything, uh, Domino? Yeah, I'm going to go with the, um, I'm just going to get the, the quarter staff, just because right. it, I think it has reach, if I'm not mistaken. No, it has double and monk. What the fuck is double? Uh, it means you can use it to attack twice. Oh, on top of the, um, area no, of no, blues? No. It, I think it's... I comes not weapons already, shit. One sec. If I remember I correctly, believe... it can be used with the Flurry of Blows. It can be used with Flurry of Blows, yes. Um, but double, I believe, is a normal person that isn't a monk can use it to attack twice. Double. You can use a double weapon to fight as if... Yeah, it counts as fighting with two separate weapons. Interesting. Um. Actually, does he have anything that's like that's like a um quarter staff, but with a blade on it, like a like almost like a spear or like a naginata sort of thing. You mean a spear? I mean, yeah. Uh, yes, they have spears, but they are not monk weapons. They're not? No, spears are not monk weapons. Fuck. Lux? <laughs> okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll settle with the quarterstaff. And, um... Yeah, I'll just... Alright, you buy yourself a quarterstaff. That is, what now? How much? Five silver? Uh, yeah, five silver. Okay. I have a stick. You do have a stick. Congratulations. Behind me is the stick. Stop. Now, does that use my strength or does that use my dexterity? But uh, are, do you have weapon finesse? I do. And then you. Oh wait. Uh. It it'll use strength. Weapon finesse is for light weapons, I believe. Okay. Weapon finesse. Um, 
author you look up like it specifically. But um Weapon finesse with a light weapon, yes. So it is a it is a two handed weapon, not a light weapon, so it will use your strength. What's natural weapon? Does that mean? That's your hands. Oh okay. Huh. Interesting. But use strength I and mean, that's not horrible. So it can it can still do decent damage. It's still blue damblage. Damblage. All right. uh, everyone done shopping then. Um. Yep. Yeah, I'm done. Um, I was looking at weapons queue, and I was seeing if there's any ranged monk weapons, and all I saw was shuriken. <laughs> you can be Naruto. I don't want to be Naruto. <laughs> you can in black. In fact, Floria blows with uh, Sherry Ken. What the thing. fuck? Oh, oh no. And then, and then I remember telling you, bef um, I don't remember if it was on stream or not, but I remember mentioning to you that you can get a traveling kettle as a weapon. It is a monk weapon. It's a who? A traveling kettle. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember you telling me that. It, <laughs> because it, and it, it deals an additional fire damage on hit. Hey man, if I if ever you're, if you're using it to make uh, tea, uh, then it has hot water in it. You can do an additional fire damage by hitting people with it. <laughs> Just fucking beautiful. <laughs> if I ever yeah. respect as like a drunken monk, I'm gonna fucking carry alcohol on that thing and just hit people with it. No. <laughs> oh no. Is it possible to ever like respec? Uh. Pfft. No question mark. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way, like, if the wish spell or something, but, like, nothing readily available. Okay, so I can't just become an alcoholic and then be a drunken <laughs> master? Like, <No. laughs> It's not like I can find Jesus God, and become a paladin, so no. Well, I mean, technically, you can't. I can't. You can, you can multi-class into paladin. Oh, my God. That but you can dope. do that. Oh, my kind God. Of. She's had her all of her doors open. can't wait for one of you to try to multi-class and I have to go and explain that to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm agree. Even, I'm not even. <laughs> Purple Haze is gonna multi-class as a, as a bard. Oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't. But yes, I you would. would. <laughs> if you, you did, we would stop playing with you. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. No, I don't plan on multi-classing, uh, mainly because... A, that sounds complicated, and I'm already confused. <laughs> That's a mood. Like, we're four sessions in, and I'm still confused. Like, what have we been doing? What have we been doing? Not a whole lot. What the hell's a what the hell's a dice? Oh my god. Who? We're four sessions in, and we're doing very little because we spend so much time just talking random bullshit. We do. And that's we've part of out, the fun, though, We've been to at be this honest. for two and a half hours, and all you guys have done is arrive at town and shop a little bit. <laughs> Listen. Through. I'm good to go. By I'm the way, like anyway. I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying anything else. I've been sitting here for 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Me. I'm, I'm just... sorry. Uh, so you guys finish up your shopping as about an hour has passed. So, uh, Hush, yeah. at this point, Fignus, you are finished uh, with your sparring in the name of the God of Strength. I love wow. you, sir. Do you feel, do you feel strong now? I guess. Does this do anything for me? Not that you are aware of. Okay, cool. Supposedly it wins you the favor of the goddess, but you don't know what that means anyway. I don't really <laughs> understand it too much, but I'm gonna give the lady a gold anyway, so I have one less gold, and I've offered it to the nice lady. You give her a gold. Yes. And now I fuck off. All right, you fuck off. <laughs> Bye, weirdo. You look at okay. her and you go, "Fuck this shit, I'm out," and you dab and you slide away. Oh my god, <laughs> Ignis, you didn't have to do it to him like that. Oop. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Goodbye. Excuse me, please. I'm gonna just pick up my stuff and leave. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I love that fucking song. Anyway, 
I'm gonna head over to Dragonsboro and check out the uh, Statue of Luck. Okay. Uh, you again? You don't have the map actually, but um. Oh. Actually, we know who grabbed the map circuit. No, yeah, no, you do have the map. You pay. Yeah. Yeah, I pay for this map. Actually, how did we end up making it to the market? Hold on a second. I don't know. I pointed it out. We did our best. <laughs> you looked at the map and you went, "Okay, it's in this direction," and you walked until you found the big open area. Um, <laughs> do we hear a zombie? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not again, please. Please, can't do it. I'm strong enough. So we're in the market. Fog rolls in. Oh no! Oh, no. You uh, played anyway. the music. Please no. So you head up into Dragonsboro, uh, weaving your way this way and that, getting some looks from people, but otherwise being left alone. As you find your way to the shrine of Gonasir. Uh, another stone statue. Uh, again, there's no temple here. But instead of being in a large open field with uh, other people, it is actually inside of a building. Um, it's actually oh. in the middle of a tavern, it seems like. Uh, not an inn, like just a tavern where people go to drink. Um, and inside, there's a lot of people gambling and playing games of luck and chance. It seems like a, a common meeting place for gamblers. Uh, to enjoy a drink, play some games. Uh, and there is a statue of a halfling standing in the middle who has, like, slicked back hair. He's wearing a uh, fancy-ish clothing and holding a bag of coins in one hand and a pair of dice in the other. Ah. A bitch. <laughs> it's a statue. You can't call him that. A godless heathen, anyway. It's good. Wow. Okay, so you said this is in the middle of a tavern. Yes. I am assuming that the people here like to gamble. They are currently gambling. There they are. <laughs> These people nice might assumption. like to gamble. <laughs> yeah. They are currently gambling. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. What can I do here? Hashi walks into a casino like. I bet these people like to gamble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is basically as close to a casino as you think you'll find in this. A vibe. Okay. Um. I mean, like, there are people playing games and stuff. Want to try. You want to try? I want uh, to try to gamble with the little humans. You want... I... <laughs> oh, no. Hard game, <laughs> dice game... Something less standard. I don't know. I'll play a dice game. I think that's easier. What's less standard? Like snail racing or something? <laughs> uh, you see there are people that are betting on games like... uh, there, There's some weird games going on. Like, there's people betting on, like, darts games. There's people betting on some uh, memory games. Stuff like that. Uh. They have bingo? Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll play the dice game. How do I play the dice game? So, you go over to a table, uh, and sitting at it are actually uh, a few people. Sorry. Hello. Uh, around it, there are some humans, uh, but there's also some elves. Oh. Fucking knife ears. Uh, the... Oh my god, that's very racist. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, a elf, not many. Um, there's a hu uh, female woman there. A uh, human, female human. Uh, with silver hair and hazel eyes, who's wearing uh, expensive clothing and like a fur cape. Oh. Um, the man next to her is the elf. Uh, he's actually a little bit on the heavier side. He's not like the skinny elves that you have seen or heard of. Uh, with thin brown hair, and all he also has hazel eyes. Um, but he's actually wearing arguably fancier clothing. His are tailored nicely, and he has a dragon scale cloak. I don't know if I like that. Oh. <laughs> hey, walk out to him, sir, I take offense. Sir, can I have that cloak back? You stole this from someone. That's my grandpa. 
Give me my dad uh, these, back. <laughs> these scales are on it are in fact green. That better be fake. Uh and the last person at the table is a male uh human. Uh with red hair and brown eyes. He's actually wearing leather armor on clothes, as you can sort of see some of the edges of it. Mm. Okay. Uh and they appear to be playing craps. How do I play that? You crap. That doesn't help. You have your poop. Well, you are you? Hmm. So you sit down at the table and you're like, "All right, how do I play?" Yeah. So, basically, uh, in, in a round, one of you is rolling the dice. That person is the shooter. You select two dice, and you. Uh, then you make a bet on the pass line. Uh, I'm actually looking this up myself as I read this to you. Uh, pass know. line bets are the easiest to make. When you wager on the pass line, you're betting that you will roll either a 7 or 11. Oh, okay. Uh, if the shooter rolls a 7 or 11, they win double their money. Mm. Okay. Uh, if you do not roll a 7-11, or if you roll like a 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, uh, then that is a point. Uh, when you bet the pass line, the shooter will then continue rolling, and you want them to roll that number again. <laughs> uh, if they roll a 2, 3, or 12 on the first roll, then you lose the bet. If they roll a 7 or an 11... After the first roll, you fail the bet. Okay. Uh, and everyone else gets the option to bet against you by uh, either betting... Or, sorry. A, and a don't pass bet is against it, so the opposite is what you do, basically. Okay. This is hard. <laughs> Good thing that I don't know what they're talking about, so I'm in character basically. Um, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> can I bet one gold? Sure. Okay. I will we'll let you. Gold. We'll let you roll first. Uh, do you oh. want to bet pass or don't pass? I want to bet pass. All right. You are the shooter. <laughs> Uh, so okay. they go around the table and they place their bets as well. Each of them just matches you, one gold. Uh, okay. The, uh, the first woman bets... I'm going to write this down. This is difficult. I'm sorry to make you do this. No, you're fine. Alright. Okay. I realize I typoed a fair bit there, but it doesn't matter. No, that's fine. Alright, so you are going to roll 2d6. Okay. 8. So it's neither 7 or 11. So the point is now 8. So your goal is to roll an 8 again. Okay. So go ahead and roll 2d6 again. Okay. Come on, 8. Oh. And you lose. Shit. So, as you oh, pick shit. up the dice again, and you roll, and you come up sevens, uh, everyone except the first woman groans a bit as she collects the pot. Shit. Beat her up, beat her up. Get I can't- no! Back. I'm not gonna do that, let's fuck that. Oh, that's so fun. This is a fun game. I think this is like, everybody try this game! <laughs> Guys, you gotta try this, it's so fun! <laughs> you roll the dice! You roll the dice and you lose money. Some people get mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who got mad at you? I'll beat their ass. <laughs> like, well, that's uh, the 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 elf goes. Well, I suppose that's to be expected. What the fuck is that? Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Kick what his does ass. that mean? Get angry. <laughs> Are you asking him what that means? <laughs> yes. He's like, he he gestures to the woman who won. She's like, uh, she's uh, a priest. Oh. I was going to say. Oh. The man backpedals, Not... like, really quickly. Uh... Yeah. 
So he's not racist. He's not being racist. He's saying the lady is smart. That's very nice. Oh, he's being racist. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I was a little angry because he got the dragon cloak going on, but I can let that pass. Beat him up anyway. No! Uh, so beat his ass, man. Finishing, but, finishing the round, uh, it then passes the dice to the woman, uh, who is the the, pre the one that he's called a priest. Uh, and it's now her turn to roll. And she's going to bet don't pass. Don't pass, okay. Uh, the others are going to mimic her, so they're all betting against. Okay. So do you want to bet pass or don't pass? I'm going to bet pass. Alright, you bet pass. Oh. What is she betting? Is it still one gold? Yeah, they're just taking a one gold. Mm. Alright, and she will roll! Nine. Okay, so... They want her to not roll enough. They want her to roll a 7 or 2 or 3 or 12 at this point. You want her to roll a 9. Okay. Roll again. And with that 12... Never mind, you have to keep rolling. I have to keep rolling. <laughs> keep going until she rolls a 7 or... A nine. We'll get there eventually. Okay. There it is. You win. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, I was like, what is going on? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Taking. I might be playing craps completely wrong. I'm sure someone knows better than me. No. Um, <laughs> Does that mean I earned seven, uh, four gold then? Yes, you earned back four gold, which means you have made a profit of two. Yay. Yay. Good job. That's when you back out. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm done now. All right, I, I'm done here. You and that's all the time I bye have. Bye-bye. You said you're a priest. Or he said you Is that true? Uh, yes. Uh, I am Cohen Ball, priest of... Uh, Gonasair. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. I, I'm Fignus, and uh, that's, that's all. Actually, I, I'm not super special. That's all, folks. Could I see you after the game? Oh. What? What do you mean, oh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna take her out on a date! Why not? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with priests, man? Yeah, what, what the hell? What's wrong with the priests? Date time. Wow, okay. <laughs> Everybody chant. Date, 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 date. date, date, date Can I get some date. dates in the chat, please? No, I don't. I don't know if God. anyone's even in the chat. That's the F uh -huh. of the chat. It says there's five people watching, and I know I'm one of them, and I know Hush and Hank are two of them. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think it's just us. Yeah, it's probably just yeah, us. Yeah, actually. All right, here, hold on. Nothing wrong with that, though. It'd be like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are times you're playing mm -hmm. a not fast-paced fun game. Fuck yeah. this, it's all my Risk of Rain. Oh my god. I fucking there, love uh, Risk of Rain. Uh, anyway, um, she's like, uh, of course, we can, uh, talk. And she'll step aside from the table, because she doesn't really care. And... Oh, she's all done now, okay. I'm gonna go hang out. Dated her, she doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> As, uh, she steps off to the side with you, and she's like, what do you need? The fuck you? Oh my goodness. Okay, so, I'm super new here and I'm trying to get the lay of the land, and I am assuming that you are in the know. I hear some things. Yeah. People do come here to get drunk and play games. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> what do you need to know? Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Let me think. Oh, she's like, I didn't expect that I was gonna get this. Or... Honestly, say, I. When do I'm we a dragon. I don't do a lot out? of think. <laughs> the gang all. When do we... The gang all crashes. In. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh shit! When does Sergey show up to actually talk? Yeah, Sergey is, is our charisma. 
No, like, I'm Stargate just... does not have an enemy party leader. I'm just, I bash skulls in, that's my job. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, do we have a party leader? I don't think we do. <laughs> we don't, we just kind of like help each other, which is nice. You let Ouch. the barbarian walk off without a guide, come on. Help us. True. Cirque and, and Domino do the most of the talking, like. Mm hmm I gotta think. I gotta think hard. Okay. What's what are name? some really important questions I should ask? <laughs> what are you trying to find out? Well, I mean, the priests, it's priests, they got priestly things. We're supposed to be here to get their advice. But I don't want to, like, ask a question that would clue them in, like, hey, uh, there's zombies outside. I, I just want to point out what's really funny to me. is like, you guys met a paladin, a cleric, and you didn't ask her for anything. You just fought for a bit and you left. And you went to go fight other priests. That's true. <laughs> we spent too long bothering the paladin, so we had to go bother someone else. Yeah, we felt, <laughs> felt bad, bad, so we just had to, like, go. Um, I mean... Ask her if she could up and... I need a reason for that. Say that we're on a special mission from the oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah uh, we're on a... Oh, okay. We're on a mission from God. It's confidential. I, I'm not gonna say that. It's a confidential mission from the Lord of this town, and I need your help. Oh. What do you need help with? Um, well... Weapon stronger. Yes. You hit harder. Is there any way that you could perhaps enhance my weapons or, or maybe my uh, companion's weapons as well? I didn't mention that. There are three others, like me. They're not here right now. Are they dragons? They're not dragons. I see. Um. Hmm. I don't believe I uh, have anything like that. Oh, well, um, that's okay. Blessing things is one thing, but making them more powerful sounds like an enchantment. You, those are fairly expensive and well outside of my power. That's that's reasonable. Um. Could you perhaps bless them? W would that help? Not in particular. Uh, maybe if your weapon was made of silver, I could do so. Oh, uh, that is a good point. My weapon is not made of silver. We should probably get some of this. Oh, I need to get silver hands. Oh so my god. Me. Silver hand. <laughs> no. You just dip them in silver and you're like, alright, what do you want? Yeah, like silver dust. Those. Oh my goodness. Silver dust is actually like a really good idea. Like you could use it like to rub the powder on, like before a match, and you could just beat the shit out of someone. Put the silver dust in lotion and moisturize your hands. <laughs> oh my god. You, you wash your hands and now they're stronger. Oh my god. Wash your hands. That's powerful. Wash uh, your That reminds hands. me of the fucking do, 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 do. meme I sent in the <laughs> D&D <D> chat <laughs> like a week ago where it was like sneeze on your hands to do poison damage. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. God. I dislike that. Um... Is it bad to ask her if she knows anything about zombies? Like, not in particular, no particular reason. Just, just do you know how to maybe fight them easier? <laughs> Something, sorry, you walk up and you're like, "We have a confidential mission. I need help with." By the way, do you know anything about zombies? <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> <I> promise. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, okay. that's exactly how that went. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm stupid. Just let me have this. Um, zombies? Or, or any other Metaphorically uh, speaking. creature, you know, <laughs> just in general. Um, I'm afraid I don't really have an idea for that. Are, are there zombies? No, no, no zombies. There's no zombies. 
Roll me both. Oh, it was okay. out of four. Oh, oh no. no. Oh dear. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. How do I bluff? You roll bluff. I don't. I don't know where's. Oh dear. It's like at the top. Let's see. What's her sense motive? Oh no. Oh no. Has she? I uh -oh. fucked it up. You, you. Oh god. She blinks a bit. She goes, um, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to learn. a very strange question to ask. No, I know it is. I I only ask because we've we've got a, a a magic user in our party. I'm sure she would ask if she were, but she's not. Me, big dragon, know nothing about magic. Basically, <laughs> what is this magic you speak of? I know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> it made understand. me grow big ones. It made me go really big. I go big. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this talking. Thing. I crushed a guy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I crushed <laughs> many men. That's great. Yes. <laughs> I'm up in. Did, did Sorry, she... my friend just sent me a really weird message as I was checking it. No, no, you're good. Where are you? Did she call my bluff? Am I just lying for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> she knows you're lying and you're still on it. <laughs> I mean, no. you can also roll sense motive. Can... Okay, how do I, I do, do that? that? It's a you skill. Roll sense... Sense motive. You roll sense motive. Oh. Let's see. Do I? The motive has been sensed. Consider yourself sensed. Do you sense the motive? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm looking at stats and stuff. Stats. Uh, you can't read her. She's really good at this. Shit. You imagine playing poker a lot, uh, helps. Probably. Um, uh, is there uh, anything else I can help you with? Um, not that I can think of. If I come back here with my party, I'm sure they'll have more questions. Could I see you again? <laughs> you got to dinner first. No. First date went well. No, it did not go oh well. My God. I, I failed the bluff, Jay. It went horse historically bad. This one's for the books. <laughs> Help me. My Discord crash. Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> Yay! Whoopee. So, sorry, did you say, uh... I, like she said, is there anything else you want? Uh, yes. Basically, I I told her that I was gonna go grab my party real quick, and I asked if they had any questions, if we could talk to her again. Um, of course. Feel free to come to me for any help that you need. Okay. Thank you. She knows. I'm. Con she knows. Oh, she totally knows. <laughs> She knows oh, totally my... it, she? <laughs> I fucked it up. I'm gonna go to the Lord. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't... Oh, think... sir, what the fuck? What do you mean, zombies? She's gonna be like, so there's this dragon that came by. Uh, <laughs> like, do you know anything about that? <laughs> is that something about zombies? Are there zombies? 